that shine. Sit brown till I'm flush time. My drip drip real plush shine. In and that tea off a blue pill. Can't grip stack of the blue cheese. Turn that to a bag in a new crib. Nice big spot by the seaside. Never stressed on for a handout. Just ain't on with a pee on. Just ain't on need to be right. Yeah. Gold front to show the color of my soul. Who you think you is? You got me in a boat. Where I'm from, we live and die by the cold. Either that or sell your soul to get a roll. Black boy joy, she wanna see the Forbes like I wanna see her form. Tell me what you for, yeah. Hey, you pay me what I'm owed, yeah, 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 yeah. All this money on me, yeah, yeah. Cash rules all around me, yeah, yeah. All this money around me, yeah, yeah. Cash rules all around me. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hold on. There you go. What up? What up? What up? Good morning, everybody. Appreciate you guys tapping in as always. Hope everyone is having a great morning. We're back to hair horizontal this morning. What up? Happy freaking Tuesday. Right? Tuesday? That's just, it is Tuesday. What up, everybody? Well, let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Appreciate you guys tapping in. Good morning. What up, uh, Drex in the building? Good morning, Jake B. Good morning, JS Mom in the building. Chaos. Uh, Rami, what up? Cushy Souls. RPK. Good morning, Sosa. Good morning, Chamorro Boy in the building. What up, dude? Drewski. 1980 Soul. Black Belt Chris in the building. Big Ron's Kicks. What up, GG in the building? What up, dude? Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Mike, what up, man? Al Chang in the building. What up, Cher in the building? What's good? Good morning, Big Ron's Kicks, Stretch Kicks. What up, dude? Snowbird, Rahus. What's good? Uh, Grand Rising from the Island, Rahus. What time is it over there? Scene Lover, what up, dude? Rock in the building. Francisco, Mr. Exclusive. Good morning, Jay Bay's in the building. What's good? Martin, what's good? Good morning, T Ski in the building. 1980 Soul, what up, dude? Good morning. Uh, Chuck in the building. Crystal, good morning. Appreciate you guys tapping in as always. Hope everyone is having a great day. Uh, v in the building. Good morning, RPK. Uh, good morning. Uh, Bleak one. Sosa. Jamie. What up, Jamie? Big low. Good morning. Uh, can I get a what's up, man? What up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> good morning, Orlando. What up, dude? Big Poppy. Marcel. What up? Because you an island boy, he says. How you doing, bro? I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. Um, it's just a slow week. I mean, obviously, this is the start of April. This normally how it goes when it comes to like the beginning of the month. Seems like it's always the slow, you know, it's kind of slow and then it starts to pick up. What up, Elmigos? Good morning. Lewis, what up, dude? Good morning. Yeah, make sure you guys run it up. Smash that like button. It's a little more easier to see everything now. Uh, now that we're on our normal um what's it called uh you know normal uh, schedule and, and normal setup so um should be fun today today should be fun but i really do appreciate you guys tapping in i partied hard last night man i woke up like uh what the hell man oh no <laughs> out there uh partying out there in puerto rico huh the week is so slow i almost had to sh uh show uh toes on stream last night to keep it interesting rami why don't you post videos my guy why don't you post some videos? Why don't you do like an SB, uh, like an SB Dunk Low collection or something like that, bro? Like post different content, you know? You know what I'm saying, man? I think that's what you should start off with, like a video. You should do a uh, an entire SB collection. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen that, like an entire video of an SB collection. Maybe I have. I maybe I haven't. What up, gangster? What up, dude? Snowbird? What up? It's too slow to uh i may just buy some something right bro I, I bro i've been just buying random stuff just here and there just because there's really nothing going on dude shady munchie what up good morning my guy appreciate you tapping in El Migos in the building what's good 
uh appreciate you guys all tapping in as always if you guys don't mind smashing that like button i really do appreciate you like i really do um but yeah i mean this week tomorrow we have the uh what's it called we have the uh jordan ford exclusive access um i know that some of the travis stuff is supposed to drop um i know you know there's been a couple people kind of talking about the whole travis stuff on the discord group but really i, I would i don't know i don't know how how much you guys care about the whole travis stuff i, th I know the Jumpman jacks especially some of you guys are kind of interested in that but i think he's coming out with like what a some sort of like college drop or something i don't know what's going on with the whole travis thing and then the Jumpman jacks should be dropping very very soon i believe on the uh what's called on the travis scott website but i'm not 100 percent certain when that's going to be so what up karen good morning uh, I can't uh, let influence see my collection. Uh, can't give him an uh, an advantage. Oh gosh, Chalupa, what up, dude? Good morning to you, my friend. Appreciate you tapping in. Um, I catch you playing video games last night. Shit was too funny, bro, I, dude. When I was playing video games yesterday, dude, it was all messed up. My setup was messed up. Like, everything that I wanted to happen messed up. Like, I didn't have anything updated. So, we were kind of, like, stuck on playing, like, uh, Rocket League and as well as, uh, what's it called? Um, Dead by Daylight. I kind of wanted to play a little bit of Fortnite, but I, ha I forgot to update it, so... It kind of sucks. Uh, what up, Rob? Need the veneers to go with my plums. Yeah, so if you guys want to, bro, like the veneer raffles are already live on Amma Manier and social status. If you guys want to sign up, I think that's supposed to drop on the 13th of this month. So I feel like stuff is going to get started to get loaded up probably by the end of the week or probably early next week. So, <laughs> oh, my throat started to hurt low key. Um, uh what i do joe what up dude good morning um we need a madden tournament dude i can't do that bro because i'm not i'm not the best at right, madden i'm not the i'm not the best and i probably have to update that game too i don't know if there's an update for that game there's so many stuff that and when it comes to video games i have to update dude it's bad so i have to possibly update it we'll see what happens though We'll see what happens, but expect just the Jordan fours this week chat. But you know how, like when I say, when there's things that are kind of slow throughout the week, I feel like Jordan brand and Nike starts to throw out something like random stuff, you know, through the week just to see, you know, because, uh, you know how they know that it's really slow. Cause today's what the second, the second, there's nothing even dropping today. Not till, I mean, unless you guys like these air max belugas. I call these the Air Max 95 Belugas. Need the Venice Beaches Kobe's. Yeah, it's crazy because um what's it called? There's so there's gonna be what three Kobe's dropping in the same day is insane. Ravi, you're trash dead uh dead by daylight. I'm trolling. Now you're good. <laughs> I was a little rusty, dude. I'll pass in the fours. I feel like these fours are gonna sit. The smaller sizes are gonna sit on this shoe, but the bigger sizes might sell out. I think. I think $210 for these fours. I don't know. You guys think these are going to sit or these are going to sell out? I think bigger sizes are going to sell out, but this is a woman's exclusive uh, books on Saturday. So my, uh, one of my, co my cousin's uh, husband hit me up yesterday and he was like, yo, I need these book ones. He said he loves these uh, Devin bookers, man. I heard these Devin bookers are really comfortable. And Nike's, I told you, Nike's been pushing Nike basketball this year. I mean, Le LeBron restocks, uh, Kobe restocks, and new colorways, uh, book ones. I mean, the Adidas, uh, Anthony Edwards have been pretty popular, been been popping lately. The uh, the Hardens are pretty popular. Um, just basketball shoes in general. There's been a lot of people just kind of going for a lot of those basketball shoes. Uh, what up, Mary Two Designer? What up, dude? I'm bad at Madden. Just run a, a Hail Mary play. Oh gosh. Top of the morning, Raph. What up, Dan? Danny, what up? Good. Good morning. What are the sizing? What's the sizing like on the Kobe's? For the Kobe's, I always go a half size up on Kobe's. I always go a half size up because the thing is for Kobe's for me, they run super narrow. So I always go a half size up. Um, so all the Kobe's that are going to be dropping that I probably will go for, well, I will go a half size up. People say like, if you play ball, 
uh, go true to size. I, I would disagree in my opinion. Um, I've played ball on all of my Kobe's and I still say half size up, especially like the, uh, the Kobe sixes, they run stupid small. So the reason why Nike does a woman's exclusive is to ch uh, charge $210 for small sizing. I guess so. I don't think it's necessarily like that. Um, the fact that it's $210. I mean, regardless if it's a men's or, you know, woman's exclusive or Jordan in general, it's still, it's still going to be $210. What up? Good morning. Is my, uh, it's my Friday today. There you go, Alan. Well, happy Friday for you. Happy Friday um is it just me or this month is pretty dry well the thing is it's it happens man it happens i don't think it's necessarily dry it just nothing really happens in the beginning of the week sometimes you know it starts to pick up on the second third week of like like of the month i finally got my trophy rooms Rafi. i posted the unboxing on discord okay um general chat let me see you got your trophy rooms in let's check it out You got your trophy rooms in, huh? Hold on, let's see. Shout my boy Drex. How you like them? They run true to size? Because I know you wear a size eight and a half, right? Man. Trophy room, air drone. Yeah, they run true to size. You wear a size eight and a half. It's like a box inside of a box. Oh, let me let me move my face real quick. Trophy Room Air Jordan 1 Low. I feel like if they added the rookie card, man, that would have been like chef's kiss right there, dude. If they added the rookie card, that would be sick. Just print out some new ones and then just put it in a, in, in a, in a, in a slab. Do they look good? They I feel like most people that hit on the shoe, um, most people that got a pair says true to size, and also they look way better on in person. They said the satin part of the shoe was not as satin as what people think they think they they, they are. Shoe's not bad, man. I need that card, bro. Loki better than uh bro Loki box better Loki than the shoe. I mean the shoe is the shoe is not bad, dude. It's nice. I feel like this is definitely a shoe. I probably won't. I'll probably wear ca not casually, like an everyday shoe. It'd probably be on like a special occasion that I'd wear this sneaker. But the Air Jordan one low, um, trophy rooms. Thank you, uh, Drex, for sharing that, my guy. That's awesome. Congratulations on that W. Seriously, congratulations on that W. Uh, they're definitely better in person. JS mom says there. Yeah. Hell yeah. In person. They're gorgeous. Drex says, what are you going to be rocking it? Are you going to be rocking with the, uh, the white laces, the black laces? I feel like if you add like the white laces, I feel like you're going to get a clean touch with that shoe. Just a clean look. It's going to look so good with white laces. The card included would have been uh, a better drop out of sight. Mine says, okay. Black toe uh, lows better. I feel like, I mean, yes, sure, people would say the black toe is a little bit better just because it's more of an everyday shoe. Like, the trophy rooms are not an everyday shoe. It's really not. You got to, like, it's, I feel like it's one of those shoes you just kind of have to wear at a special occasion. Like, that's that's what I would do for those shoes. Tomorrow, the Chicago SBs are dropping in Japan. Dude, they better drop here in the U.S., Quizbo. You're talking about the um, the J-Packs, uh, Quizbo? I'm wondering how much those are going for. The Chicago SB Dunk Lows? Man, I need a pair. SB Chicago. I think it's called the J Packs. Right? Yeah, there you go. J Pack Chicago. These ones. Man, they need these. They need these to drop here in the US, man. These ones are nice. This gotta be if 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 they had dropped this in the US, this gotta be one of my favorite GRSBs to drop if they drop this in the US, man. These are just these are nice, man. Um, I just love the colorway. I mean, Chicago colorway, you really can't go wrong with this. And man, everyone, I feel like if this dropped in the U S people would go bananas off this shoe, man. People would go, people would get it really excited if these dropped in the U S. Uh, I want, I went ahead and picked up the, uh, pair of trophy rooms, J bays. There you go. J bays. Uh, they should have put a, um, a fake card in the box. They could have, they honestly could have snow cone. Good morning. You're thinking about, uh, sell laces, dude. Who did that on, um, 
on Discord. I think it was two. Oh, let me see if I could scroll up. Two had posted his dunk low plums. And he put sail laces on them. They look, they actually don't look too bad. Look at this. What do you guys think about this? Sail laces on the, uh, what's it called? On the plums. They don't look too bad, man. I think these are actually pretty fire. US gets them way later. Yeah, it's so weird how they're dropping in the EU. I mean, that happens. Like, I've said this before. It's like, you know, we're not going to be happy with certain drops that, you know, uh, the EU and the UK gets. But then, you know what I'm saying? Then when we get something, the UK and the EU is like, yo, what the heck, man? Like, why, don't, why do they get it? We don't. You know, so it's all good. I, eventually, I mean, the U.S. will get them. Are the Amal Maneers and Social Status only raffles going out right now? I think Brittany, um, Brittany created a raffle channel for the Veneers, I believe. Oh, no, no. Those are the, the plums. We haven't made a channel for the Veneers yet. Yeah, as of right now, from what I've seen, Hunter, it's only Social Status and I'm a veneer so far. I haven't really seen any other raffles live for the veneers, um, but that's the only ones that I've seen so far. Uh, Breezy Smalls, good morning. What up, dude? Yo, Malcolm, what up, man? Good morning. Um, but no, I, I like the look of this. This is sick. I like the um, nice little touch of the uh, cell laces. King Meow Meow. What up, Meow? Oh, my gosh. Look, look, we, got, we got a legend in the zone, right? <laughs> <laughs> what up meow what up dude morning wake up wake and bake hope all is well with you gang shout out my boy meow meow for the 18 month re up my guy i appreciate you hopefully everything is well my guy appreciate you my guy thank you so much shout out my boy meow meow in the building man a legend what up dude uh oh rafi always hype no it's not that i'm hyping up there's only certain like shoes that you could really like put sell laces on you know what i mean it's not like every single shoe you put laces or uh excuse me um you sell laces on like i even i didn't see anyone put sell laces on the plum so i always i thought it was nice man i don't think it looked it doesn't look too bad there's only certain shoes that i would put sell laces on not every single one single shoe that i have i'm gonna put you know sell laces on uh prices have come down since the announced Check out JPEGs. These are the prices when they announced it. Dude, they they were going for a lot. I remember looking at the JPEGs, and they were going for, like, a good amount of money when I first saw it. But now they definitely dipped down in the resale market, which is good. I mean, they're still kind of high. They're in the high 200s, but still, I mean, they've definitely dipped down. They've definitely dipped down, which I think once... The JPACs land here in the US. I think they're going to keep going down. I think these will touch probably around under $200 once they drop here in the US. But I think these are going to go crazy. People are going to be extremely excited for this if they uh, once they drop here in the US. And I'm going to be one of them because I really want a pair of these. This is definitely one that I want for the personal. Just remember, you can uh, save uh, money on laces on uh, Lit Laces website and use Rami to save uh, and use Shop Pay Cash to save more. Rami says, Rami just gets Rami just uses any opportunity to like <laughs> to promote anything here in the chat. I don't know if you guys noticed that. <laughs> Rami all. <laughs> Rami is a funny dude, bro. <laughs> the plums and sell laces of Sposara Elma Ego says. I mean, it's not bad. Like, it's really not the worst. I feel like I've seen worse of, you know what I mean? Of of putting sell laces on certain certain shoes. Like me personally, I don't think sell laces would look good on these SBs. I, I don't think. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, you feel me? It's like <laughs> um tight boots are better tight boots are better he says tight boots are better you think so um for the veneers there are live raffles on i'm a veneer apb store and social status i know certain be careful guys um if you guys are going to enter some of these raffles mostly on boutique stores i heard that they're starting to pre-charge people um just saying i thought i was watching rami's uh, stream oh my gosh rami just gets any chance bro and rami just gets any chance dude he's like he's like he's like like he's like his best friend you know what i'm talking about rami you're like a 2.0 
Uh, yeah, and overseas always uh, drops the price, I think. Well, the thing is, there's... Yes, they EU does drop the price. But the thing is, you got to realize, too, that the EU probably didn't get many pairs of these. That's probably why the resale value is up. That's probably why. That's why the resale was probably up. Because the EU probably didn't get many pairs of these J-Packs. I'm telling you guys, like, I feel like once this shoe touches in the U.S., I think there's going to be a ton of pairs. I mean, you got to talk about skate shops. Sneakers app will probably get 100,000 pairs of these. I think there will be a lot of pairs of these. Um, and that will definitely kind of come down to how many pairs that will drop and that's going to you know drop the resale value i mean if you look at a lot of the sbs okay a lot of that gr sbs that dropped this year i mean none of them really go for much in the resale market they really don't which is good i want it to happen like that so it's easy to obtain easy you know to not too expensive like like i feel like the uh the sb dunk prices like they were ridiculous a couple years back but now it's like it's definitely affordable for a lot of people to purchase. It's not touching in the U.S. It's the EU and Asia only. I mean, if it does, I mean, who knows? I feel like this shoe will touch here in the U.S. I feel like they will. Why wouldn't it? Like, why would they make this just exclusively EU and the U.K.? Why, why would they do that? It's just a regular GR SB dunk. Don't you think? I mean, we've got the, the core purples. That looks similar, like like the color, same color block. And what else? The shoe is a um, an egg. Once uh, us get uh, once we get them, dude. These are nice, man. And I'm not even trying to overhype this shoe. I just like the look of it. I like the color blocking, everything about this shoe. I'd probably go white laces if I end up getting this for the personal. Uh, I'll be in Asia next week. Triple up. That's crazy. <laughs> even if like if you buy if you purchase uh if you paid resale for the shoe. Um, on StockX and GOAT, you're probably going to get them overseas. You're probably going to get like an EU sticker. I feel like some people don't even know the difference between the EU labels, like what's it called, the, the sizing labels, and as well as the um, uh, the US label. Like I seen a, a, a YouTube short by Sniper Kicks, and he was like saying that like StockX was selling fakes, but I don't think he knew the difference between the EU label or the overseas label and the US label, like they're two different ones. And sometimes like if you get like a uh, a box from like Goat or StockX and it has like the Chinese like uh, label on the bottom, people start to freak out about that, dude. But it's actually coming from overseas, that's why. I don't know if you guys seen that label, if you like, I I've got a couple like dunks in my collection where like the box came in from Goat and it came like it had the, uh, the Chinese label on the bottom. And I was like, dude, this looks sus, but it's like, they are all different labels. Uh, Ralph, what up, dude? Good morning. Why didn't we get a uh, Wave Runners and uh, Desert Boots? They uh, allocate, uh, allocate uh, stock to um, to different countries. Don't be like that. Uh, to be honest, I can come out and uh, change the sizing whenever the, uh, the feet like. Remember what they just did with the GS sizing? Yeah, I feel you, RPK. Uh, Ralph says, no, I missed the vertical, Ralph says. Oh, man, a lot of people don't like the vertical, man. <laughs> Horizontals with the way to go. Uh, people be swearing the, the shit fake. I know, people do it all the time, man. People do it all the time. I can't wait for the Scooby-Doo uh, Shaggy Dinner play, uh, play SB dunks. And the big money savings are popping at skate shops finally as of yesterday. Really? Okay, so hold on. You said the Scooby Doo Shaggy Dinner Play SB Dunks. What are those? Yo, Rami, why don't you never brought that up? The Scooby Doo Shaggy Dinner Play SB Dunks. What are those? Disco, what up, dude? Yo, uh, what are those? I've actually, you know what, Hunter? I've never heard of that before. Now you make me curious of what the heck. Hold on. Let me know which one are uh, which one is it? Is it It's like Scooby Doo con low key concepts. Is it this? Oh, this is like a Facebook link, I think. Oh no, it's not. A Scooby Doo and oh, this is an this is like a, a custom top left. This one? <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, gotcha. Now he has B Dunk Low Dinner Plate releasing fall of 2024. There we go. First pick on top row. Okay, this one right here. Sneaker as well as excited the innovated uh, Nike Dunk SB dinner plate prepares to hit the shelves. The unique silhouette capital uh captivated uh da, 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 forest green accents. Um were leaked out the other day. Okay. Um Oh, uh, they're part of the Olympic pack for the Paris. These are okay. Nah. These are alright. I think the green apples are better. That was such a good low-key underrated pack. The fruity pack. These ones are better, man. Oh my goodness, bro. This was back in... Tw Dude, 2022 was such a good year of sneaker drops, man. Let's all be honest here. I'm not going to hold y'all. Dude, 2022 was such a good year. Man, this was such an underrated SB pack. It was green. That's why. No, 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 no. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, no, no. The green apple out of all of them, like all out of all the fruity packs, dude, the green apple was my favorite. Like, this was such an underrated pack, man. I got the fruity pack on GOAT for uh, so low during the COVID since EEU tanked them. Still mad at myself for not picking up that pack. Dude, I'm telling you, man, like, 2022 was such a good drop. It was actually really tough to hit some of these pairs. I would say, like, the um, it's crazy how the resale market did kind of dip down on the uh the fruity pack but ex except some of the colorways um mostly for this shoe right here like 2022 was such a good year of drops man i don't care what anyone says we had a lot of good stuff when it comes to jordan sbs all around was such a good year uh you ate the green that's why you didn't cough oh gosh 2020 to 2022 was epic it was it really was dude it was such a different different atmosphere of uh, of sneakers and and different stuff and it was extremely hard to get a lot of stuff uh during that time as well oh they're dropping 420 yep they're definitely uh shaggy stoners uh weed munchies sb dunks for 420 aka like the skunks are they dropping on 420 Facts, I got the blueberries. Uh, I love them for all the type of, uh, I got the, all the types of compliments. There you go. It's a nice shoe. I mean, you got the cherries, you got the blueberries, you got the green apples. It was, all of them were all good colorways, man. Most SBs during COVID popped in the EU first, so the prices were so low. I got the baseball gum pack for cheap and the, and these fruits. Yeah, it's because, like, even during the pandemic, dude, a lot of skate shops out here, I mean, barely touched any SBs. I mean, 2020, especially 2021, man, tough, tough year, bro. Tough year for SBs in general, man. Like, you could barely touch any SBs, especially on the Nike sneakers app, dude. Like, they were only dropping, like, a couple thousand pairs uh, on the Nike sneakers app, and they were stupid limited. Stupid limited. But when 2022 rolled around, it was a little bit more easier. I feel like there was, I, that was a great year, a really good year. I don't know, I'm just going to keep repeating it. It was a really good year. Uh, when does the dunks drop for the veneers? Veneers are supposed to drop on the 11th, I think. 411, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but they should load up on the Nike sneakers app. There's going to be a ton of stuff. Like If you guys look at the Nike sneakers app, there's not a lot of stuff loaded up. Uh, we are here on this morning salutes. Uh, we on today. What up, Jeremy Wu? What up, dude? 2022 deserves a uh, an SB COVID collab, Ra Ralph says. I got the blueberries and the pineapples colorway and still need the green apples. The cherry is super cheap. Oh, yeah. The cherries are dumb cheap. Dumb cheap. I think I don't know what's the most expensive one. I think the green apples might be the one up there out of all the um, the fruit packs. I think the green apples is the most expensive one. I might be wrong, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, keep an eye on the boutiques. Also dropping uh, veneers early. Better Generation dropped them yesterday. Uh, April 24th, the veneers uh, in uh, veneers is what I'm hearing. Okay. Is that that's what the uh, the April 24th? 
for the veneers. I don't know, dude. The veneers are probably like, I don't know. The, the veneers are probably like the least favorite in my personal opinion. I think it's veneer dunk lows the last time that these dropped was back in 2020 these were tough to hit too see they don't even go for much this is probably one of the worst ones out of all of them you got the medium curries you got the veneers you got the ceramics you got the plums what am i missing on this one i think this has got to be one of the worst ones i'm telling you guys when the medium curries come out man People need to put some shine on the medium curries when they come out this summer, man. I'm telling you guys right now. I don't understand why they're so damn low out of all of them. You got the veneers. You got the dusty olives. You got the ceramics. And this one is the lowest. You could get this under retail right now. Like... <laughs> it's so low i mean for like smaller sizes like a size eight a hundred bucks like holy shoot 11 and a half 250 175 for a size 11 150 for a 10 and a half like 14 doesn't make any sense 735 man i'm telling you guys this right now dude like i think this is gonna bring more light into this shoe once people officially see them coming out i'm telling you man what up kb what up dude the quality of the medium curries is top notch the quality is amazing on the medium curries i feel like people are going to start to want these once they start to when they when they officially drop this summer i don't think you guys should like sleep on this shoe i think these are nice what up asia good morning kobe eights loaded on hibbits city uh gear already did they really Hold on, Hibbits. Is it on the app? Oops. Hibbit Sports. Where is the re do they have a release calendar on this? Let's see. Launch calendar. View full calendar. Let's see. When the Kobe. Oh, they did. April 13th. Look, they loaded up the. The Kobe 8s. Dude, I need a pair, dude. I need a pair of these. Size 8.5, please. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be on Hibbit Sports. Hibbit Sports officially dropping these on April 13th. That's, so when is that? I'm sleeping through this, this summer, SDG says. I'm still trying to get a pair of plum size 11 app with the 180 and 190 hoping they drop lower saturday hold on let me see where's my calendar at okay calendar 13 that's next week saturday next week saturday i don't know why finish line, dude imagine if finish line and jd sports get kobe's like that what's good wanted to give you in the stream well wishes what up bam bam appreciate you yeah next week saturday Kobe 8s are loaded on Sheik app. See, the thing, I don't get that, bro. Why don't Finish Line and JD Sports get some Kobe's? How about the people that paid 500 plus for the, uh, bro, Jeremy Wu? I paid, uh, honestly, uh, respectfully, I'll be honest with you, I paid 330 for my medium curries. And that was because I paid an early pair of them, that's why. I paid 330 $330 for medium curries. What up, straight to toe? Good morning, my guy. It's a little, uh, less, this, uh, that's a little too zesty. These ones? These are nice, man. This is nice. I don't know what you're talking about. I need a size eight and a half, size eight, eight and a half, please, on this shoe. And I think most likely we'll probably get like a, uh, what, a, um, sneaker pass for this shoe probably maybe i'm telling you man i need a pair of these those are nice in my humble opinion could this could these these could potentially be on my top five sneaker of the year 
Man, I, I, I love these, dude. You guys could keep all the other ones. You guys could pick, keep the Phillies. You guys could keep the, uh, what else is there? You guys could keep the Italian camos. You keep those. I just want this. I like the colors. Uh, summer shoe for sure. I mean, I don't even need that. This is not even for a casual wear. This is for the gym. This is for the gym. Did you see the uh, shoe palace auctioning off the uh, SP uh, Gina? Gina's sneaker collection, everything is a size 8. No, I did not see that, Rami. I did not see that. Uh, reminds me of the MX350 V2. Is these ones? Splat and, uh, uh, Splatoon uh, Kobe's. Those are ugly, in my opinion. Yeah, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Uh, way better than the emeralds and the purple ones. Hopefully, uh, DTLR gets them too. Last year, the DTLR near me had the uh, Kobe uh, re reverse Grinchies and managed to hit. There you go. I prefer the Italian camo. Yeah, I feel like the Italian camo is just more, it's more settled. But like a lot of the Kobe's that I want are only for the court. Like only for the gym, only for the court. Like that's all I care about, man. I'm not wearing these casually. I just want these on the court. Kobe's are the uh, are for the gym only. Exactly. All my Kobe's that I wear, I wear all my Kobe's in the gym, dude. I wear that at you know when I go work out sometimes. Um, you know when I go to the basketball court, like it's only for the gym. Uh, they look like the PG what the compare them. Uh, the PG what does? You saw the Paul George PG what the. Let's see. Um, I don't know which one they these are. Is it this one? Talking about this. If it's this one, they kind of they don't look nothing alike. I mean, maybe because they have like color for you know they have like a bunch of colors, but I mean other than that, like it's I don't I don't see the resemble or resemblance. I want the Italian camels for the gym. Yeah, I feel like out of all of them, it seems like you guys want the Italian camo. They're all going to be limited. I'm going to assume this is probably going to be the most, uh, the most less limited one. And then everything else, the Italian camel and the, uh, the Phillies are probably going to be more limited than these ones. I just want these. You guys can keep everything else. Because I'm sure most of you guys are probably not going to... I mean, I don't know if you guys are going to wear it for the toe. Uh, summertime vibes, uh... My G, I'm rocking with you on these. There you go. Yeah, I don't think that's a really... I mean, it's probably the colors. That's why. I don't think they look alike. But, I mean, I could tell why he said that. Because the colors. I mean, just the, the random colors around the shoe. They kind of look like... What's the what's the cereal called? Um, Damn. What's that cereal called? Uh, Fruity Pebbles. Is that the, is that the cereal? The colorful cereal? fruity pebbles <laughs> um hoopers only uh yo malcolm says dude i'm not gonna lie i haven't hooped in like a couple weeks uh i'll wear them summertime vibes uh if it raf just uh ordered medium curries i keep hearing that they're uh top wow you just order them right now i mean dude <laughs> yo alan you just bought them <laughs> yo alan just yo alan did you just buy them just right now i keep hearing it's top notch just ordered medium curries. I just, uh, I just, I'm just hearing it's top notch. Hold on, Alan. Did you just buy them right now? Like just now, now. Like you just went on stock X. You'd be like, I, I bought a size eight. I know we wear the same size. Fruit Loops tricks. I don't like tricks. Tricks is a, that that cereal's trash. The cereal gets soggy so quick. He says, just now, F it. I mean, a haunted box, dude. There you go. Alan just, dude, I, I <laughs> hey, look, the price went up four bucks. That was probably you. <laughs> look, it, the price went to a haunted, to a haunted and four. Alan, that was probably you. There you go, Alan. There you go. Check a size eight price change. Yeah, they did. They're at a decent price. I mean, a haunted bucks. You probably pay like what? Basically retail for this shoe. Um, it's a haunted bucks. He probably got from Meritu Designer. If you think about it, right? 
Retail on the shoe is probably going to be like, what, 130 bucks. I mean, he basically paid retail because the stock X is going for a hundred bucks after like shipping and tax. He probably paid like 130. So, I mean, he basically paid retail. I mean, you really can't beat that price. You really can't. $132 out the door. There, perfect. He bought it for retail, dude. <laughs> Basically, that is crazy. Retail gang. It's just crazy how low they are, man. I paid I paid $330 for my pair for an early pair back in back whenever these were supposed to drop. Shout out to my boy out of stock kicks. Um, I should buy the seven and a half for my wife for a hundred and six bucks. Dude, I'm telling you guys, I promise you, this is I wear my medium curries all the time. It's it's a it's a nice brown town shoe. And I think Brittany has a pair as well. I think she does. She loves her pair. These are nice. Must be nice. They want 251 for a size 11 half before tax, uh, before fees. Hey man, this is the reason why I ain't complaining that I'm a size eight, eight and a half. People make fun of me all the time. Oh, bro, you wear a size eight, eight and a half, dude. You have a small foot, da, da, da. Okay, who cares? At least we don't have to pay like double the price. Like, have you seen like the prices compared to like the Haritos? Haritos in our size is like, a, like what, 400 bucks? And a size 13, 12 is like 800. Like, do you think I'm complaining about being a size eight, eight and a half? I have no choice, first thing. And two... The prices on a size eight, eight and a half are stupid low compared to like a 13, 12 and 11 and a half. Sometimes 10 and a half, your guys' prices are like really up there. I envy y'all. Yeah, facts, dude. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's. I feel like if you wear a size like a big size, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Why is it a bad thing? Because it's so hard to hit on your size. Why is it a good thing? Because at least in your size you hold value you know what i mean like say if like even if you wear them a couple times at least that you know that your size has value later down the road a size eight eight and a half doesn't really have value once you start wearing them just saying like that's what you know you know what i'm saying so it's 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 a good thing and a bad thing it's a blessing in disguise because you could get like a lot of a lot of the size 12s and mostly and, and some of them you don't even wear you may it, it may go for a lot later. Uh what up, Rob? What's good, dude? Great first game yesterday. It's starting to uh, live up to the hype. It is, dude. It's gonna be a really good matchup. Size thirteen is tragic. Uh, Cruz says. I'm telling you, man. Size thirteen and size fourteen. Size thirteen and fourteen. Like we get that all the time. Oh, you get you got a small foot. Da, 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 this. Yeah, all right. at least all my size 12 and a half, 13, 13, and a half, 14. And yes, even 15 is just all hold value over time. Exactly, man. That's what I'm saying. It's a um it, it's a it's a um it, it's a blessing. You know what I mean? What up, Toof? Yo, Toof, I just complimented your um your uh your cell laces. Where is it? I like the fact that you have cell laces on your um on your plums. I showed it earlier or this morning. They look really, really dope. You're like the first person that I've seen with the uh, cell laces with those plums, and they actually look they don't look too bad. Um let's see, uh J Kicks, what up, dude? Good morning. For the Kobe's, are you going for the veneers? And do you know if they're worth paying for the trophy rooms now or waiting? Um, to be honest, for the trophy rooms, if you want trophy rooms, all right, if you want trophy rooms, I say you buy now. If you want trophy rooms. If you want trophy rooms, I think you should buy now. Guess where he got those laces? What, your website and you use your discount code? How about you say thank you to me, Rami? How about you say thank you to me? Huh? How about you say thank you over here? I mean, how else? How else would you have got to watching, uh, getting those, uh, getting those laces, huh, uh, huh Rami? <laughs> how about you say thank you by using my platform, huh? How about you? How about you say thank you? <laughs> any, any, I'm telling you, any chance Rami could get. <laughs> 
Uh, had to uh, sell my uh, rebuy all my Jordan 1 lows. Had in a size 10. I'm a 10 and a half, but the uh, low ran big on me. I think my foot swelled. Sucks getting old, J-Bay says. Oh, man. Yeah, that sucks. Man, you may... <laughs> Yo, J, oh, no, you know, J Bays, I, I, you know, I won't ask you about. It. I won't ask you how old you are. I, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a respectful guy. But buy trophy rooms now. Paid four hundred dollars for a size ten and a half. I don't even want to look at those prices on the trophy rooms. And the fact that guys, the trophy room home colorway was supposed to drop. It's supposed to drop this month. And I think once. Marcus Jordan, listen, once Marcus Jordan posts on Twitter that he has his pairs, that's when you know it's going to happen soon. These trophy rooms are holding up some good value. I'm not going to lie. I mean, what did I say? They were going to hit like 300, 350. Man, I was wrong. See, sometimes you could admit that you're wrong. You know what I mean? You could definitely admit sometimes you could be wrong. And I was wrong because I thought these were going to dip down to 300 to 350 the fact that they're in the like mid 400s in my size is pretty remarkable because i didn't think it was going to be this high uh exclusive access tomorrow too for the fours sorry it's going to be for those yellow fours tomorrow at 9 a.m eastern time sorry if i didn't mention that that's happening tomorrow my fault sorry sorry i didn't clarify that so uh how much are does the uh sell laces uh laces for the oh, with free shipping i'm not sure all my friends are dead push me to the edge i'm going for the homes for sure we'll see if they're even gonna be available for every anybody you always wrong listen I'm, i told you this is why i don't look at like stock x you know what i'm saying like you you can't knock me, dude. You really can't knock me. Listen, you really can't knock me. Because I'm not a reseller, bro. I'm not. People complain when I'm wrong about the resale market, but then they complain about talking about and like talking about prices of resale, dude. Like you really you really can't win in this community, dude. You really can't. Rami, thank you so much for the two. He says, Thank you, Rami. Without you, I'm nothing, Rami says. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Shout out to Rami. Thank you so much for the two dollar donation oh by the way by the way i changed siri i uh i changed siri i i i saw english i press english let's see if it works so i guess we'd have to wait and see when uh rami's donation finally comes through I want to hear, I don't know what Siri is going to sound like. I didn't test it out. I just changed it last minute because I totally forgot this morning. So, Rami, thank you so much for the $2 donation. We're going to have to wait and see what um, Siri sounds like here shortly. We're going to have to wait and see. Um, Just be quiet? No. Like, why are you trying to come in here trying to tell us to be quiet about shit, dude? It's just shoes, dude. <laughs> it's just sneakers. Who gives a shit? Uh, since when y'all let Rami get his, uh, his name back? I don't know, dude. I don't know. The thing is with, uh, OBS stream labs, it's, it's, it's like super slow. Like it's, I don't know why it delays, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Wait, where's my, um, oh, there he goes. Thank you, Rafi. Without you, I'm nothing. Heart. Okay. I mean, she she's clearly just English. Chat. Where's my um alert box? My alert box didn't show. I might have to change that. Okay, well there he goes. At least you could uh you heard you heard her. She's now English. So Siri English is back. I think she could have done better. Let's hear it again. Thank you, Rafi. Without you, I'm nothing. Heart. Um, she's I. Right. She's a little man. Eh, she's I. Right. <laughs> it's lacking the soul. Yeah. It's lacking the soul. I'm playing. Don't catch feelings. Oh, I'm not. Ha I'm not in my feelings. Trust me, dude. 
uh basic af bring back hispanic siri i think low-key hispanic siri is a little bit better bring latina siri back i like siri with the uh i don't know she, um, hold on let me let me get more of a longer sentence real quick let me see let's see let's see let's get them let's see uh i gotta i gotta go back to some of the donations here let's see okay some of these donations are crazy never mind <laughs> some of these comments the, the donations that people sent yesterday is actually pretty crazy okay here we go here we go we'll test it out let's see what she says tapping in no matter what orientation stream is in um she's not bad i mean I, she could read better than me uh ravi which kobe's are you going for i like this uh this uh i like the spanish uh siri better uh what kobe's am i going for i'm most likely going to go for the venice beaches dude that's the only one that i want out of all the kobe's that are dropping i just want this one right here it's the only one i want i would care less about everything else to be honest respectfully respectfully that's the only thing i care about is this one right here uh rafi ai on us glitched <laughs> are you danny moore's partner now oh my goodness sell now do not buy the kobe 8 venice beaches i can't believe i got blocked on tiktok dude hold on i have to, you know what after since that day that danny moore we found that danny moore blocked me on tiktok i haven't checked Let's see. No, he's he still got me blocked, dude. I don't know what I did. So weird. So weird, dude. <laughs> I don't know what I did. All I need is the Venice beaches. So same here. All I need is the Venice beaches. That's all I want. Ike, we need some uh, Latina flavor and the uh, English is mid. Danny Moore hates Asians. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Rafi, you sent the screenshot. I, I saw it. I did see that. I, rep I replied to it. <laughs> Yo, As Asad. Asad's crazy. Asad went in his DMs, dude. Asad went to his DMs and was like, yo, why did you block my boy Rafi? And he was like, huh? Dude, Asad, you're crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what's dropping? There's nothing dropping today. Um, we got EA tomorrow, though, for the fours. That is the first thing on the calendar for this week is the Jordan fours this week. That's That's what's dropping. That's what's dropping this morning or tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern time, 6 a.m. PST. Uh, when these come out, these Kobe's are going to be dropping next week, Saturday. So next week should be a better week, chat. I know it's a little slow. We got the Jordan 4s, but excuse me, tomorrow, excuse me, next week is going to be a better week. Okay. If this, this week is just extremely slow. Lily Kobe's is going for $300. Low key might be a uh, cheaper, uh, be the cheapest one yet. Listen. I think the thing is what people expect is that, oh, every single Kobe that drops is going to be, you know, it, it, a lot in the resale market of this. Like, no, not every single Kobe is going to go for like four or $500. The reverse Grinches are up there, though. The reverse Grinches. Uh, where is the exclusive access happening at tomorrow? Finish line and JD Sports, my friend. All right. JD Sports and finish line tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Siobhan, what up? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, getting to the bottom of it, like a uh, like a true G, RPK says. Uh, JMK says, don't blame me. Oh, gosh. What up, what up Jumper Man Chris? Shout out my boy Jumper Man Chris in the building. JMK, what are you doing right now? What up, Gorgon? What up, dude? Only want Italian camel, Kobe's, Gorgon says. Um... Golly. Yo, JMK, what are you doing right now, JMK? What are you doing? What are you doing right now, JMK? I could go for either pair uh, or both. Just uh just want hoop shoes. 
I mean, this would be a perfect spring and summer shoe, man. Like, these Kobe's would be nice. Italian camos, man. I'm not saying, like, they're the most terrible shoe, but I, I'd rather have these. Um... Rafi, what is your thoughts on the Jordan 6 Retro Yellow Orcas? I just feel like there's a lot of yellow shoes coming out. I mean, I'm not the craziest Jordan 6 guy. I mean, I like Jordan 6s. I mean, they're one of my favorite underrated silhouettes. Um, but, I mean, they're okay. Those yellow ones are okay. I'm sorry, but Kobe's are just uh, are very overrated. Booker shoes are 10 times better and more comfy. You know what, Tooth? That's what I heard as well. That the Devin Bookers are really comfortable. I just don't look. I just don't like the look of it. That's all. I just don't like the look of it. I feel like Nike. I feel like Nike could have done better when it comes to his design. I mean, I feel like some of you guys may agree that they could have done better with uh, Devin Booker's design. Signs now I have to go watch that stream again to get a good laugh. Oh, gosh. Hey, Raph, it's my uh, son's 10th birthday today. Uh, his name is Kenny, and he loves, he loves watching you with me when I'm not at work. Possibly uh, throw him a shout-out. He would get a kick out of it. Kenny! Uh, happy birthday, Kenny! Kenny, if you hear me. Kenny, if you hear me, happy birthday, my friend. Shout out my boy, Kenny. How old is he? 10? Big one zero double digits. There we go. Shout out my boy KB and shout out to my boy Kenny. Happy birthday. Happy 10th birthday, my friend. Hopefully, you have an amazing, amazing birthday. Um, we appreciate your constant support here on the channel with your dad. Shout out my boy KB. Everyone say happy birthday to Kenny, man. Uh, Danny Moore blocked uh Rafi. Oh my gosh, yo, someone steal Rami's name. Someone do it. Hurry up. Go, go, go. Someone, yo, someone take the Rami P or the uh, the SB Rami name or the uh, regular Rami name. Go, go, go. <laughs> Look, he changed his name to Danny Moore Block Raffy. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, Yellow over green, uh, Raffy. Oh, gosh. You know what? Respectfully, dude, if I would choose green and yellow... I probably choose green over yellow. Like people really think I hate green. I don't know what is up with you guys. Like I, I, it's, it's not that I don't like green, bro. It's just some of the shoes that are green are just not it. I mean, that's the same thing with the yellows. Like these yellows, they should have kept the yellow on yellow thunders and lightnings. Just keep it with that and you're good. That's all I'm saying. It looks better with just yellow Yellow on the thunders and yellow on the uh, on the on the lightnings. That's it. But these ones, I guess, are not too bad. But I'm not gonna hold y'all. The yellow does look better on this shoe on these Jordan fours, um, uh, vivid sulfurs over green. That should be only regular Rami. It ain't July yet. Influence says, "Yeah, dude, influence." He broke that bet long time ago, my friend. That's why you guys got to you guys got to bet on something, put a shoe on it. Influence. Yo, shake on it with the uh, shake shake on it with the uh, with Rami. You guys bet some sort of shoe. That's what you guys should do. Um W on the 10th birthday facts. Dope shout outs to Kenny Powers. Oh gosh. Um Happy birthday. Uh, oh, golly. All my friends are dead. This is uh, L. Rami, he says. Uh-oh. All my friends are dead coming for uh, Rami's neck now. I think he, right now, Rami is probably changing his name back. Now that I said, yo, yo, someone take his name. He's probably freaking out going back to his regular Rami name. That's probably what he's doing. Anything going on for the... Um, for all the uh, the what? Hold on. UK, UK at the, anything going on for the UK at this point? Uh, I'm not 100% sure what's going on with the UK at this point. What do you mean by that? Ronnie Riggs bets and uh, can't tell a box is not an SB blue box. Oh, man. 
Oh, look, look, SB Rami, look, he took your name. Womp womp. <laughs> look, he took his name. Look, we got another SB Rami in the chat. He says, let's go. Yo, don't put him on timeout. Hold on. Yo, Rami. Hey, no, 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 Rami, you don't get the power to do that. You don't get the power to do that, buddy. If I win, I get one shoe. If he wins, we're back to even. Integrity. Facts. Obviously, Rami doesn't have integrity, it sounds like. <laughs> any raffles or any drops for the uh, UK? No, at this point, I don't know any drops. The only person that really knows the drops out there in the UK is Kate. That's why we have a, 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 mod, a UK uh, moderator in here. Uh, she kind of tells us the beans and the tea for the uh, the UK drops. Uh, take Rami's wrench away. Oh, gosh, Tony. We've said this before, dude. R Rami, uh, Rami has already broken the bet with influence. He has. He already broke it. Uh, Rami is a super mod. Rami no longer a plumber. Uh, a plumber here. Oh, gosh. What time is the reserve? Uh, Drew, uh, sh what reserve are you talking about? Tomorrow is going to be the exclusive access. <laughs> All right. Exclusive access tomorrow. Need a membership donation? I got you. Who wants a membership? Comment down below. Who wants a membership? Can I get the link for this? Uh, yeah, I got you. It's gonna. This is Hibbit Sports. Right here. I got you. I got you, Black Shinobi. This is Hibbit Sports. There it is. That's the link. What up, media? He says, damn, Rami is drunk with the uh, range power. Yo, who wants a who wants a membership? I could gift the membership real quick. Who wants one? Let me know in the chat. You got to co comment down below me. Even if you're ghost watching. Where's all my ghost watchers in here? I know we got a bunch of ghost watchers in here. Who's the top yapper for March? I'm not sure. I got to check. Me, 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 me. I do. See, and now everyone's going to come out and say, yo, me, me. Exclusive access for what kicks. Uh, Khalil, it's going to be for tomorrow for the Jordan 4 uh, Vivid uh, Sulfurs. That's going to be tomorrow. Uh, veneers are not dropping until possibly next week. Uh, you could enter the raffle uh, on social status. Uh, Amble Veneer, APB, I think that's what it's called. ADP, I think that's what it's called. Look, everyone's ghosting. There it goes. Everyone's ghost watching here. Who wants a membership? KB for the 21 month re up. He says, Thanks, Raph. Appreciate you every day, bro. Of course, KB. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for being our loyal mod over here, man. Thank you so much, KB. Thank you. Yo, influence. Why did Why didn't that work? Wait, what happened? Oh, there it goes. I was like, why didn't that work? There it is. Influence for the five gifted. Here we go. I gotta, I gotta match it. Let me match it, influence. Let me match it. There it is. Another five. Ralph got one. There you go, Ralph. Ralph got one. Me, me, me. Just uh, there we go. Orlando got one. Orlando, you got one. There it is. True Colorways got one. KB for the five gifted. <laughs> KB kicks with the five gifted. There it is. Another five gifted for some of you guys. Yeah, I feel like you guys that come in here for like the low key streams deserve it more than anything, to be honest. The ones that come in and listen, chat. And that's what we, we should do whenever, like, when it's really slow days. It's that, like, the ones that come in during the slow days are the ones that deserve it the most, respectfully. Black Shinobi! <laughs> for the 10 gifted! Black Shinobi for the 10 gifted. We appreciate that. There you go, Black Shinobi. Uh, v for the 10. He says, Raffi, 5 gifted on me. Smash that like button, family. V for the 10 gifted. I got you. I got you. Media with the 10 gifted. There it is. Hold on. Let me add. Let me add five more. I got you, V. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Shout out my boy Media with the 10 gifted. Black Shinobi for the 10 gifted. Dude, everybody in this stream is about to get a gifted, dude. Everybody is. Shout out my boy Black Shinobi. 
Shamo boy two for the ten. He's like, you know what to do. Pee pee poo poo. Wait, what? Wait, what? What did you say? <laughs> Toop, what did you just say? <laughs> you said pee pee what? Pee poo doo doo what? There it is. Another five gifted. Shamo boy two for the ten. Media. Shamo boy media for the ten. Black Shinobi for the ten. KB for the five. There it is, chat. There it is, chat. There it is. Last name Sneakerhead. I like that name. Last name Sneakerhead for the 17 month three ups has dropped the likes for Raf. We up today. Last name Sneakerhead for the 17 month re up, my guy. I appreciate that. Wow, dude. I really like that. That was that's a really clever name. I'm not gonna lie. Last name Sneakerhead. That could be a nice YouTube name. Last names. What up? It's your boy. Last name Sneakerhead in the chat. In the chat. Shout my boy, last name Sneakerhead, for this 17 month three up, my guy. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Oh, well, you just missed a uh, a um, free membership donation uh, in the chat. That's what you missed. Yo, welcome all the new members. Uh, Shout my boy Media for the two dollar donation says membership shock drop. He says facts. There it is. Oh, I love seeing the green man. I I love seeing all the members in the chat, man. It really looks really really beautiful. It really does. Uh, it gets the opportunity to people to be a part of the community. You know and I'm saying, I mean, regardless if you're not a member or not, you're still part. You're still a part of the community chat. KB says facts membership shock job facts, dude. What up, Uncle Chrissy? What up, dude? Good morning to you, my friend. Shout my boy Uncle Chrissy in the building. Hold on, let me. Um, we gotta make. Um, dude, there's there you go. SB Rami says I'm back. <laughs> what up, Mo Kicks? What up, dude? Good morning. Regardless if you're not a member or not, dude, it's it, it is nice to give people, you know, what I'm saying the opportunity to be a part of the chat as well, man. But regardless, this chat is open to anybody that's a non-member or a member uh in general. But make sure you guys are connecting your YouTube account to Discord, all right? Make sure you guys do so. All right. I walked in at the right time. Collection family strong. What up, Joel? Good morning to you, my friend. Appreciate you tapping in. Good morning. We got to start off a Tuesday. Listen, Tuesdays are always one of those days of the week where like, oh, man, I'm dragging my feet. You know, Tuesday sucks. It's not even like the middle of the week. So I feel like Tuesday is always a perfect day to go to go through with a positive note. You know what I mean? A positive note. You feel me? That That's how I feel about Tuesdays, because I know some, by the end of this week, by Friday, it gets either freaky or someone's just pissed the f off. That's that's normally how this week goes. I've been I've been kind of like I've been kind of like noticing that with some people. That's when you know when people are having a bad week. Uh, Joel, thank you so much for the five gifted. There you go, another five gifted by the homie Joel. Shout my boy Joel, man. As always, man. W Joel loves sneakers. Facts, dude. Shout out to my boy, Joel, man. We appreciate it for the five gifted, my guy. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, got the chat going up, dude. That's what, dude, I need to start looking into some, like, positive quotes before the stream ends sometimes to get like, kind of, like, send you guys off to, a, like, a positive note. You know what I'm saying? Every day is what you make it exactly straight to tell. Facts, though. Big facts. Big facts. And that's the one thing, like, I I'll watch, like, some influencers, like, it, it doesn't have to be sneaker influencers, like, I'll watch, like, some streams that I watch, and I I'll ask, be like, yo, what's the quote of the day? The one quote that really, there's two quotes that really get me, right? That really, like, that really wanted for me to change this year in a positive way is be better than you were yesterday. I love that quote, dude. You tell tell someone that quote that's having a bad day. Be better than you were yesterday. Be better, whether if it's a good, whether it's good or bad, be better, better than what you were yesterday. And another good quote is, is, uh, what's it called? Um, change things that you, uh, change things that you can control. Don't worry about the things you can't control. I love that quote too. I think I have that backwards, but still, that is a good quote. 
Uh, v, thank you so much for the two. It says, let's hit 75,000 subs. Smash that like button. Shout out my boy V for the $2 donation, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, V. Thank you so much for your constant support. V is always a constant supporter here on the channel, man. Just, v, we appreciate you. Media, thank you so much for the two. He says, got the chat going up on a Tuesday. Facts. Got the chat Five going gifted up. on me. Smash on that like Tuesday. button. -E I appreciate that, media. Dude, we need to change Siri, dude. Seriously. I might have to change Siri's accent. We might have to change it up. Uh, Danny. Um, Danny for the 22-month re absolutes Raffi and Collection Family. Danny Cruz. Thank you so much for the 22-month re up, Danny. Thank you so much, Danny. Um... Ravi can't read his own uh, his own quote. Yeah, I anyway, I might have to I might have to write it down, Rami. I think so. But I'll shout out my boy Danny Cruz for the 22 month three up, man. I appreciate that. You know, Rose is actually she's she's got a lot better at reading books, man. Every time she gets a library book, uh, she's reading it on her own, which I'm super proud of. I told I told Rose, I told baby Rose is that listen, Rose, you read better than Daddy does. <laughs> Do the New Zealand accent for uh, Siri. I mean, we could. Let me see. You guys could choose it. New Zealand? Let's see. I don't even think New Zealand's a, a thing for uh, alert boxes. Hold on. Let's let's test it out because I don't know if I could save it. Okay, hold on. Here we go. All right. So you guys choose it. So New Zealand. Hold on. New Zealand, you said? Uh, so it's that English. Okay, here we go. M. There's, there's no nor New Zealand. There's none. There's Swedish. There's Swedish. I don't even think Swedish. There's still, we could change it back to Spanish. What do y'all think? Y'all choose the Siri. We could literally change it. Australian would, uh, would be close to it. Um, Spanish. Because the thing is, if I keep scrolling up, now it's going to be a guy. I kind of want to keep it as a girl. On my phone, maybe try Australian. They're all. The thing is, like, if I scroll up, it's going to be. Let's see. It's going to be a dude. No, 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 mixed up. Swedish. Good. Swedish sounds cool. You know what? I'm going to try Swedish. I'm going to try Swedish, chat. We're going to try Swedish. We're going to try Swedish. We're going to try Swedish. What up, G-Face? Good morning. The chat getting blessed. Facts, G-Face. I think we're going to try keep it Spanish. Spanish was really good. All right. We're going to try Swedish, and we'll see what happens. We'll try Swedish. <laughs> Love Swedish fish. That's disgusting. Bread and butter. The, the candy Swedish fish is gross. I don't know how any of you guys could eat that. Can you put Sniper Kick's voice? Let's talk about it. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to lie. That was actually pretty funny. Yo, Hookah, that was actually pretty funny. That was a good one. That, that was a pretty good one. Did you guys see that, um, that, uh, what's it called? That meme? It was like, jo uh, it was like, uh, hold on. It was like a, uh, oh gosh. It was like a breaking news yesterday. Like a, um, an April Fool's joke, right? And he said, it said like, breaking news, Josh Giddy changes name to Josh Diddy. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, dude. The internet always freaking wins, man. Is that all breaking news? Oh, here, hold on. Pee pee poo poo, you know what to do. What? Hold on. Whose donation was that? That was two's donation. 
Membership shock drop. Okay. No. I'm I'm trying to understand what she just said. That was Swedish. Internet undefeated, dude. It it, it really is, dude. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> Yo, what was that? Oh wait. What? Hold on. Dude, my freaking... My, don my donation box? You guys broke it. I don't know what those noises are. You guys broke it, dude. It's not even doing anything. It, that should be my alert boxes. My alert boxes are not even popping up. Dude, you guys broke it, dude. Uh, Rami Pee Pee Poo Poo for the $1 donation. I appreciate that. Rami Pee Pee Poo Poo. Okay, here we go. Let's hit it to 75k subs. Smash that like button. Like, smash the like the e button. Smash the diddy like the button. Oh my gosh, dude. You guys broke my, my donation box, dude. Dead ass. Because I can't do anything. It won't let me even stop it. See? I can't do anything. It's done. It's... Got the chat going up on a Tuesday. Got the, sh got the chat going up on a Tuesday is what she said. What the hell, man? I can't. I'm not doing anything. Pee pee poo poo. You know what to do. See? I think that was the last one. It, it just reread his donation. Pee pee poo poo. You know what to do. I, I'm not doing anything. That's the third time. I'm trying to stop it, dude. It's not letting me stop it, dude. You guys literally broke my freaking feed. Whose donation was that? That was Toof's donation from earlier. It's like pee pee poo poo. You know what to do. Oh, nothing happened there. Same thing is happening to Trav, Hunter says. I don't know what the hell's going on, dude. That was, it was a, it's broken. You guys broke it. It won't even let me stop it. But I think that was the last one. Whatever the last one was, that was it, dude. Whatever that was. I think it is. I think that's what it is. Since there was like so many like different donations going on at once, it was trying to catch up. And I think that's what it was going on. Yeah. Uh, switch it back. It's, uh, it's messing up your live, OG says. I think it's fine now. I think it's okay. It's just we changed uh, we changed Siri's uh, voice. That's why YouTube bugging. No, I think it's OBS, man. I think it's definitely OBS. OBS Streamlabs. I I know some people use just regular OBS, but I use OBS Streamlabs. So, um, W. Oh gosh, um, get the R Kelly voice on that. You know what? I was actually curious if I could use like a different like you know a custom AI voice. That I can make up, but I don't think I can. Shout out to Rami. Dude, whose burner is this? Rami Pee Pee Poo Poo for the $2 donation. He says, Pee Pee Poo Poo, I got to go number 2-2. Two two. Dude, who made this burner, dude? YouTube should not allow this type of, uh, type of uh, stuff. It says LA and Las Vegas has no raffles for the Kobe's soon media soon. I, I think soon. Man, just wasting money, dude. I, I don't know who, I don't know who created that burner. 
Here we go. It's coming. I don't like her voice, dude. I might have to go through some of these. I'm 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 gonna have to go through some of these Siri voices because I really don't like that one, Loki. I'm not gonna hold y'all. If you like it, sure. I personally don't like it, man. I, I don't know what's going on, Joel. <laughs> That's one for YouTube. Yeah, I probably. Because you guys are so quick with it. It's crazy that like YouTube allows anyone to make like any some sort of YouTube channel or like an account and keep doing it. You know what I mean? You could make like thousands of different YouTube accounts. And YouTube still allows it. There's no sort of like an IP, like IP ban or some sort here on YouTube. Because it's such a big platform where where they want people to keep making accounts. Yeah, I might have to change her, John C. I might have to change her. I don't know. Spanish wasn't too bad either. Spanish wasn't too bad. Respectfully, Spanish... I think I might have to change her back to Spanish because the Spanish one wasn't bad. And that was that was for from default. Hold on, let me see. Uh alert boxes, super chats, and then text to speech setting. So Okay, let me see. Alright. That should do it. All right, that should do it. All right, we changed it back. All right. Change it to Norwegian. There are so many different options that you could go for. You, you should do a Filipino uh, female. This way you get both at the same time, male and female. By the way, they actually had that option that you could actually change it to a Filipino voice. Alexis, good morning. What up? What's good? Good morning. Um, good morning. Appreciate you tapping in, Alexis. Appreciate it. But let's check it out. What's gonna drop this week, chat? All right. I know you were having fun with serious stuff like that, but I think we're getting carried away with the for the gender, man. Well, I, I'm I'm telling you guys, we're just having some fun. All right, we're having some fun. All right. I need to catch up on some stuff on sneakers because I know Z sneakerhead. I know, dude. I stayed away from the blogs yesterday. I'm not going to hold y'all. Like yesterday, I stayed away from the blogs. There were so many different, you know, jokes that was going around on April Fool's. And especially the number one was the, uh, what's it called? The number one was the Gamma 11s. I know Jamie fell for this. And a couple others fell for the shock drop of the, uh, the Jordan 4. Military blue fours. A couple people fell. A lot of people fell for that on yesterday's stream. Um, but anyways, now that is April 2nd. All right. Now that it is April 2nd. Obviously, everything else is not a joke. Okay. And I'm pretty sure no one's gonna bring out hey, oh, April Fools. Well, that was yesterday. So I don't think any more April Fools joke. Like, especially the uh, Adidas uh the box shoe. That was obviously an April Fool's joke, but I think it's an actual drop. Um People need to learn how many days. Well, the thing is, people don't want to read the entire... The, listen, people don't want to read the entire sentence because people say, oh, returning November 31st. And the first thing probably people saw was November and didn't want to read the entire sentence. My reimagined fours from the restock are out for delivery. Bread. Oh, bread and butter, you hit? Congrats, my guy. Pine Greens restock, LOL, straight to tell says. I mean, a ton of people fell for it. I'm sure people did. And and you know what I mean? It is what it is. That's that's kind of how it goes when it comes to like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shout my boy, Drex. Corvette, Corvette. Drex, thank you so much for the $20 donation, my friend. I appreciate that. Shout my boy, Drex. I appreciate that, my guy. He says the chat is going up on a Tuesday. Don't be no hater, dude. And smash that like button. No ditty, he says. Y'all make sure you guys run it up to 200 likes if you guys don't mind, man. I really do appreciate y'all. For real, for real. If you guys do not mind, smash that like button, man. It, thank you guys so much. Shout out my boy Drex for the $20 donation. All right. Thank you so much, my boy. Shout out my boy Drex for the $20 donation, man. Going up on it. Is, isn't that a song? 
I just, dude, I just remember that. Uh, going up on a Tuesday. And girl, who sings that song? That is a song. You know, I'm here to sport every single day. Jump my boy Drax. All right, here we go. Spanish is back. The Jehate Ge Olune Geap on a Tuesday. De Onete Be no Heate Redu Dent Seme A Sehedet Le Uke Button. Numara De Ude De Ye. Alt Chisgikim. Alt Chisgikim. Alt Chisgikim. Shout out my boy Tony for the 21, 21 month three of happy 20 month, uh, 21 months, Raffy boy. What the hell was that? That's not the whole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo, what is that, dude? That was Spanish. Well, it was it it was trying to speak English. That's uh, hold on. Let me see. The J H A T G O U N E G A P on a Tuesday. De onete be e no he a te e re du dent se me a se he det le u ke e button. Numara de u de de ye. Alt chisgi kim. Alt chisgi kim. Alt chisgi kim. She sounds French. What the hell is going on, dude? Series, my mommy. Dude, I, I'm sorry, chat. Like, what the hell? Yeah. What kind of Spanish 2.0 was that? <laughs> um... Now I'm kind of flustered. Fuck it, dude. We're going to change it to Filipino, dude. We're going to keep it in the culture. I don't know what that was. That was literally... It says Spanish. Unless there's like a, a couple options. That didn't even sound Spanish at all. It sounded like an old Brazilian song. It, it, she, couldn't, she could barely speak English on that one. That, there's no way that was Spanish. Anyways, good morning, Collection Fan. What up, Iggy? What up, dude? Good morning. All right, we changed it to Filipino. We're going to keep it with Filipino. We're going to keep it in the culture. <laughs> At least you, uh, you'll you understand shit. Yeah, in fact, dude, at this point, everybody in here is going to like, <laughs> let's F and go, man. That was not Spanish at all, dude. Was that uh, Rahu's trying to read? <laughs> That's so messed up, dude. <laughs> That's so messed up. Was that he said Rami said was that Rahu's trying to read? That it's crazy. I think we witnessed AI just overdose. That that was uh, she had definitely OD or something, bro. That was crazy. Um Show victim right there. Yeah. We changed it to Filipino. So I think we're going to stick with that. I, I think I think Syria will sound better with Syria. I mean, we could test it out. All right, here we go. This is Filipino. All right, we're going to rewind this. The chat going up on a Tuesday. Don't be no hater, dude, and smash that like button. No, DD. Oh my gosh, that is so Filipino. <laughs> The chat going up on a Tuesday. Don't be a hater, dude, and smash that like button. No, Diddy. Kim, Kim, Kim. Dude, that's so Filipino. The chat going up on a Tuesday. Don't Tuesday. be a hater, dude, and smash that like button. 
no didi salungguhit kim salungguhit kim salungguhit kim salute game the chat going on on a tuesday don't be no hater dude and smash that like button no didi what dude that's so filipino that we're keeping that dude we're keeping it in the culture <laughs> that is so filipino super filipino we're keeping it we're keeping that one we're keeping that chat that's that's it right there that's it we're keeping it what the fuck you say man <laughs> she sounded indian that's definitely not indian too that's definitely not indian we're gonna keep we're gonna keep it in the culture No way, that's... Dude, that's super accurate. Yo, someone should, like... Hold on, you could... She could probably sound super Filipino. She's actually saying something in Filipino, though. Mom, is that you? Right. <laughs> Do it for the culture. Yeah, facts. Uh, shout out my boy Black Shinobi for the $2 donation. I want the Italian, Italian camo Kobe's. Shout out my boy Black Shinobi for the $2 donation. Black Shinobi, you will hit. I'm going to manifest that W for you, my guy. I'm going to manifest that W. Shout out my boy Black Shinobi for the $2 donation. You sounded Vietnamese. Dude, I know how to speak Vietnamese. Like, I, I know the accent. That is a totally different accent with any Asians that you can think of, dude. Like, that is a bad comparison. I sound in Vietnamese. I could speak Vietnamese, dude. Trust me. I I can. <laughs> Filipino accent is nothing. Rafi's inside voice, Jumper Man Chris says. Yo, Jumper Man Chris, do I get the Vietnamese pass? He's <laughs> Jumper Man Chris, boy, he says putangina. <laughs> dude, it's so crazy that people think Jumper Man Chris is Filipino, dude. My girl uh Sandra like that like that in my ear. What? The the game are really dropping a non April Fools joke. Oh no, it's an April Fools joke, bro. It, it was it's been an April Fools joke. It, it's an April Fools joke. Don't get fooled on April 2nd. Ravi boy, like the uh oh my gosh, relax. All right. Relax. Uh, like the video of Joe Coy or on telling different Asians apart. Yeah. Yo, sup boys? Speak that Vietnamese. No, J Jumperman Chris is definitely not Mexican, dude. He, what do you mean? Jumperman Chris looks nothing Hispanic, dude. Have me confused again on the second. No, you're good. Jumperman Chris is an Asian. What do you mean, James Kane ain't Latino? No, he's he's definitely Hispanic. No, excuse me, Vietnamese. Oh, you guys got me saying Hispanic, dude. He's Chinese. Uh, shout out to uh to JMK. I want the Italian camo Kobe's. That sounds so Filipino. It's insane. Shout out to V for the two. Manga Kabigan, smash Nino Ngang like button, Pogi. <laughs> Yo, shout outs to V for the $2 donation. Manganda Umaga. Kabigan, smash Nino Yang Ang like button, Pogi. Man, we gotta wait till Siri pops up for that one. V. We got we definitely gotta we gotta wait for that one, dude. How you tell the difference, bro? You could definitely tell the difference. I'm not gonna lie. Filipinos sound like they make their um the F's like P. So like for Filipinos, it's like, oh, you're Filipino? No, I'm Filipino. I'm Filipino. Like, they always take their F's to P's. It's always like that. Filipino. Yeah, I'm Filipino. Mm-hmm. I'm Filipino. They don't... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm Filipino as hell, dude. My family's hella Filipino. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They always... Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
Mm, don. Mm, mm. They start pointing with their, their lips. Mm, mm. You want to kiss? No. Mm, over there. Mm. Mga kaibigan, smash ninyo ang like button. Oh my Kobe. gosh, that is so Filipino. <laughs> oh man, that's so Filipino. Um, basing ang like button para sa collection family media said for the two dollar donation. I appreciate that media. See, people could easily just just speak Filipino, dude. Vietnam, I'm telling you, there's a huge difference between Filipinos and Vietnamese. The Vietnamese be like, I don't want to say it, dude. <laughs> I don't, German man Chris is gonna think I'm making fun of him, but I'm not, because <laughs> that's just how they speak. Lips and the eyebrows do it all the talking they do. My brother, what to do, Ravi? The truth. I want those veneer dunks ASAP. True swag. What up? True swag in the building. What up, my guy? Appreciate you as always. Yes, sir, man. A lot of people are going to... That is going to be probably a sellout. Um, It is super Filipino, bro. I'm telling you. Like, they do the... Mm. For some... Dude, it's true that Vietnamese people, they always want to fight, dude. They don't care. Dude, Joe Koi is, like, perfect. He's, it's perfect. You sound Vietnamese when you speak Tagalog, bro. No. Okay. Listen, Vietnamese people like, what the hell? That is, that is Vietnamese, dude. Basagin ang like button para sa collection fam. Dude, that is so Filipino. Chama boy media. I'm chilling, bro. Let's go. Yes, sir. See, collection fam. Collection family. That that is like Filipino, but when you say Vietnamese, dude, it's like, bro. I'm telling you, man. They have the the uh, the type the you know what I mean. What the hell, man? The, uh, I can't do it, dude. I, now now when I get put on the spot, it's like it's different. It's like. What's it called? It's like, I don't know how to explain it, dude. I can't be put on the spot. Because there, there's two different... There's two, Vietnamese and Filipino are like two different languages. They're nothing alike. No, they don't. Stop the cap. All Asians speak the same language. Now that's racist. <laughs> you can't say that, dude. We don't all speak the same language, dude. <laughs> Like grandma from the uh, cake shop, uh, she wild funny. Dude, my Siri is super Filipino though. Like now that you guys shout my boy media for the two. But I'll give you that pass, dude. I'll give you that pass. It's all good. I'm not offended either. Waiting on the slow shipping on my uh, sneakers. They're tripping. Been uh, waiting on my uh, Ray Reyes uh, Dunks and uh, Ninja Turtle Adidas for the longest time. You're still waiting for your SBs and your Ninja Turtle Dunks? I mean, your Adidas? Y you're, you're still waiting for those? Do Asian get offended when you get it wrong? No, I don't get offended. I don't. I like, listen, my culture is my, like what my culture is. And I, I don't, I don't get offended at all. I don't. I really don't. I don't get offended. Trust me. Cause I'd be like, Hey man, it's true. Listen. Stage fright, Raph. You're not wrong. <laughs> Shout out to all the Filipinos. Uh Basaya in here. Uh let's go. Shout out my boy Drew, man. Facts, bro. Koreans definitely do. I don't know how Koreans sound like. Rafi, do you see a triple um see triple H uh sneaker shopping? I did see that. I didn't get to watch it. You're talking about on the complex sneaker. I know you went shopping with complex, I think. I did see that. That was a that was a big hit. I think uh, that's that is a big hit for that for them. Uh, Pinoy boy proud. Yeah, man. I'm an island boy, bro. I don't even look Filipino like that, dude. People think I'm mixed. People think I'm like a mix Hispanic and just mix Filipino in one. It's because I'm super white. I'm telling you guys this right now. If I ever get sun, like I, I get pretty dark. 
like when I get when I when I get sun. Uh, but since now I live in Washington, like you should see a picture when I was a kid. Like I was dark as shit, dude. I looked like a like a little Hispanic kid. But now that like I'm super pale, dude. Like I'm pale, dude. I'm white as shit. Um, I would say my Tagalog brothers and sisters are probably the uh, the uh, hospital uh, hospital. Wait, what? Um, question is it possible for StockX to sell you fakes, dude? I don't, dude. That's so crazy that like, I'm not gonna lie. Going back to sneakers, is that I've been getting a lot of questions for that right now. Is it possible, chat? Is it possible for StockX to sell you fakes, even go going through the verification process? I've been getting a lot of questions for that. It sounds like people are buying, paying resale because there's nothing going on in the re, in, you know what I'm saying? In the, uh, in the, in the, uh, what's it called around the sneakers. So people are paying resale. I'm going to say this. Is it possible? Yes, it is. It's very possible for StockX to pass a fake during verification process. Yes. And that's why I've been saying to a lot of people, a swag is you buy at your own risk. You could, we could sit here. Listen, we could sit here and say, oh, StockX is better. eBay is better. Goat's better. But at the end of the day, everyone has their own experiences with each company. For me, I've not necessarily got any bad reviews for any of these companies besides StockX because during that time where StockX got hacked, and I was one of those victims that got hacked because someone was trying to use my credit card um, in my account. But when it comes to going through authentication and, and shoes getting passed as fake or real, I've never had a problem. Um, I purchased one shoe off GoDap, which was the off-white UNCs. I ended up buying those off GoDap one year and it ended up being passed as fake. So, which means obviously I didn't get to get the shoe, but it is possible. Say if like that UNC off white that I end up buying end up getting passed as a fake. I mean, who knows if I would have never known that would have been fake unless I did my homework. Um, I, I you know, some most of the time when I buy like major purchases from StockX, um, or you know, StockX Goat app or whatever the case is. I normally go to my local uh, sneaker shop, whether if it's Sneak City uh, or or you know Richie Lee store. I'll go them and get a second thought, or I'll ask, I'll ask some people, "Do you think this is real or fake?" If I feel uncomfortable, you know, because I'll do my homework. I'll look like oh, real versus fake, da 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 this, and see the differences between the two and see what I'm looking for. But seriously, in today's like in today's sneaker world in the space. It's really hard to really authenticate a shoe through a picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been saying this is that, yo, if you try to go get a shoe authenticated or or and whatnot, or you're trying to authenticate the shoe, I promise you it's not like all the other like fakes that you've seen back in the day. Like, it's so close, man. So close. That's why, like, when people hit me up in my DMs on uh, on Instagram, be like, "Yo, Raf, you, you think you could authenticate the shoe?" Da da da. This, I'd be like, "No, dude. There's no possible way that you could authenticate a shoe through a picture in 2024. Just no way." People be like, "Oh no, you could easily tell." Da da da. This, bro. Like, I don't care what anyone says. In 2024, you have to see their shoe in hand, right? That's how you authenticate a shoe, right? By the look, the stitching, the smell, if it's dead stock, right? Um, the feel of the shoe. I'm sorry. This is the reason why I kind of stayed away from paying resale in 2024 because of those type of reasons. Um, but if it's like a major release, sure, I'd take extra precaution. But if it's like a GR, right, that's going for less than like 200 bucks or close to retail, I mean, I feel like at that point, I feel like you could, I feel like you could kind of tell, um, but at the end of the day, um, to answer your question, yeah, it is, it is absolutely possible to get past a fake on StockX and GOAT. Um, you just got to make sure you're doing your homework, do your homework, uh, get second opinions, 
Um, I'm not sure. I, I can't really talk for the people that have been through uh, situations where they received fakes. Um, because I don't know how the process works. Because I know Godap. I know some of you guys said that Godap and StockX that you could actually return them. Um, I've seen a lot of situations where people receive the shoe from StockX, right? And they weren't able to, you know, they weren't able to return the shoe to StockX. StockX wasn't able to accept it back. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've seen people get into situations like that. Um, but it's it's kind of rare. Uh, no way you can... Um, what I meant to me to buy uh, from a third party or buy from uh, shops I know. Well, I feel like at this point like it's obviously the convenience you know like some people don't want to go out their way and pay the extra prices um that the shops that they charge because sometimes like shops like local shops will charge more than what stock x will uh you know will offer just because it's the convenience because you're getting it right then and there that's why i feel like a lot of shops are more expensive but i i can't make the excuse to why they still tax panda dunks at 350 you know what I mean? Like I can't, I can't explain that because there's a lot of, there's a lot. I'm sure there's a lot of you guys in here could say, "Yo, my sneaker shop right now is selling Panda Dunks for like 400 bucks." Still, I mean, I heard Private Selection is selling their Panda Dunks for like what, 300 bucks, 350. I mean, you've seen like your favorite YouTubers, your favorite Instagram influencers, you know, post prices of sneakers. From different sneaker stores in their area and the prices are ridiculous man it's insane prices are stupid high i mean you realize like for instance like uh what's it called uh urban necessities right i think his shop is more of like a um a lot of the shoes are our own but i think you could actually consign with them and a lot of people up their prices just because that's a like it's, it's a store where like people constantly just come in and, and you got a lot of tourist people coming in their stores and they will pay the price whatever they uh they you know whatever it's um listed for so that's why some of the you know prices are stupid high because people just list their own prices um exactly motherfuckers still paying it get that bread exactly you know that's why i tell people it's like if you have the money if you have the money to spend on a shoe that you want then go for it you know what i mean i'm not gonna be the one pocket watching you um but there is a lot of people that are willing to pay the price of what it says just because it's the convenience you're getting it right then and there you know like people would be like, oh, don't go to this shop. They're they low ball, da, da da this. Like it's crazy how a lot of these, you know, you know, shops are low balling, da 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 this, da, da da that. But the thing is, at the end of the day, it's a it's a mutual agreement. You know, remember like when YouTubers, like some YouTubers, like Sneak City, um, Cam Kicks, who else was doing the um, uh, what's it called? Was doing the in shop, you know, uh, um you know interacting with the customers and selling like people like quick cash people don't understand that cash is king all right if people are willing to sell their collection for a low price mostly for like a big margin of, of a collection of course like sellers that will are buying from people like they're spending money but it's like you you scratch my back i scratch yours but you don't have to agree to the price right like that's what a lot of people get mistaken uh, uh, get mistaken of is that Oh, they're low bond, but no, it's a mutual, it's a mutual agreement. You don't have to agree to their price, you know, in training all day. So I'd be in and out all day. What I miss? What up, D Animal? You didn't miss much, bro. Of course, true swag. Of course, man. Of course, man. We're here to help you. Uh, whether if it's, you know, whether if it's a, you know, whatever question that you got when it comes to, uh, when it comes to all that stuff. I thought it was an, an interesting question because I've been getting that a lot. And uh, some people will hit me up, be like, yo, Raph, do you think it's, you know, should I buy it locally or do you, should I just go ahead and buy it from GoDrap or StockX? You know, and I always say this to anybody, just buy at your own risk. If you want to pay the price, um, if you want to go through that authentication process, which probably will take like a week or so, um, then it's up to you, you know. But the thing is, what's interesting is that like. I want to know how the process works because the thing is like stock X just recently what launched this last year where like you could do the, um, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, the, uh, the fast shipping when it has that rocket next to it, like you get like, um, the fast delivery, 
that's the thing that like really like I get curious on that sometimes because like it's like StockX and like Godap already has a, f a facility that already has shoes in their facility that they keep that's already authenticated. But I think that's the option for the seller, right? I think so. The seller, I think if, if say if you're selling shoes, I think that's how it works. The express stuff is that the seller will already send it to StockX or Goat and they keep it in their facility that's already authenticated and ready to go. And the seller is just, they don't have the shoes. They have the goat app and stock X is holding on to their pair, basically like a consign, right? But you get actually, I think you get more, you get more money off of it. I think, I think, I think that's how it works. If I'm not mistaken, like they hold everybody's pairs. If you want to go through that whole express uh, shipping stuff, but they already go through authentication and they just keep it. And they have like a section of like, all right, this section in the store or our facility, all this is already authenticated. If anyone wants to pay express shipping or fast shipping, we just automatically just grab it, box it up and send it out. I think that's how it works. I know Goat is Flight Club, but I'm pretty sure Goat app has a different like facility of with the with that holds a bunch of people's shoes. You know, that Goat app and StockX is a huge third party app, man. Like they got facilities. I you've seen like I'm pretty sure if you buy anything from GoDap, StockX, some of the stuff gets shipped out from like what Hong Kong or something like that. Like they have like stores out there supposedly, like facilities out there that they hold pairs out there. I'm pretty sure some of you guys been through those uh type of situations. Like I get DMs all the time. Yo, Raf, I just bought from GoDap and it's getting shipped from Hong Kong. You know what I mean? And people kind of get like iffy about that. It's like, yo, Raf, is this like is this legit? Is it not? Like I've been through a lot of like transactions in my life but i'm from buying from goat app and a lot of it comes from hong kong and you'd be like oh my gosh raf they're getting they're shipping off with dhl does that mean it's fake no it's not it's just they have like some sort of facility and you know authentication process that's out there uh use that fast shipping shit uh fast shipping shit and ship it to my house in two days from china supposedly that's what i'm saying like it'd be getting shipped out from you know different areas it could be like a goat storage right a goat storage uh stock x works might just be uh you know what stock x works uh might just be selling fakes who knows man who really knows dude who really knows because at the end of the day we're relying on the people that works for those companies you know so there was that one year that stock x got a lot of backlash uh when they passed a bunch of um uh, Jordan one highs, uh, Travis Scott's that's why Travis got highs. Like the prices kind of dipped down on that, um, shoe a couple years back because there were so many fake skin passed from stock X. So many, uh, today's my Friday. Then off to Palm Springs for a dude's golf trip for us. There you go. Tooth. Have fun for that, man. I think they probably, uh, express ship to, uh, for, uh, trusted sellers or that manual who really knows, man. So that's why I tell everybody at the end of the day, you buy at your own risk. If you're willing to pay from, you know, your third party apps like StockX and Go, that's totally up to you. But you got to buy at your own risk. You can't expect every single shoe that comes out of from that company to be 100% legit. You know, even though you want to go to like eBay or StockX or Go, um, some people has been talking about poison. You know, I mean, listen, you guys seen that a lot of YouTubers right now are, are promoting the company poison. I mean, a lot of people's promoted that I've personally never used it. Um, I don't know how it really works. I'm assuming it's kind of the same thing process, like go to stock X. Um, but I think they're just using a lot of the influence just to really launch their, uh, their, their app, um, and their company in general. But I just don't think even though how much you got to think about too, as much stock, how much stock X has been going through in the last like five years, they're still one of the best third party apps that people buy from. You know what I mean? Like they've been through a lot of crazy shit. They've been hacked. They've been known for, you know, a lot of pairs getting through um, as fakes. Um, I mean, Harrison Neville made a huge, uh, you know, basically a documentary of talking about StockX and how they really effed them over, I think. Um, and you guys could go watch that and how much they've been through in the last five years. They're still holding up. So 
StockX is probably one of the best ones, best apps to go through um, because people still use it. People use this at like events. You know, they'll go to like, all right, let's look at the trophy rooms. Let's see what the last sale was. People use StockX as a reference. They don't use Go. They use StockX. They don't use eBay. They use StockX as reference. Any reseller, any buyers are trying to buy shoes, they'll be looking like they'll be looking at the last sale. Be like, all right, last sale was uh, four hundred dollars. I'll give you buyout or payout. You know, so uh, when a sneaker ships from Hong Kong, it's because the seller uh, bought it from at Nike Hong Kong and it's reselling it in StockX or Goat. Nike sells sneakers in a lot of countries, a hundred percent, and that's what people don't realize that like they assume that it's going to be a fake because it's coming from Hong Kong, but people don't realize like there's a lot of areas in the country that still that sells Nike. You know what I mean? So like you can't assume oh it's coming from overseas it's fake no I mean you could you could say the same thing from the people from the UK oh it's from coming from the US it's fake you know so um if you're using StockX as a reference you're lost people use StockX as a reference all the time you'd be surprised that's why people be looking on their phone oh StockX last sale was this last sale was that I promise you I would say like seventy five percent of I would say 80% uh, 80% of people at like sneaker events use StockX or go as reference when it comes to pricing. Most of the people that are trying to buy giving someone a payout is dumb AF. I got I go off and uh of what the uh, total is, uh, taxes and fees. No, people a lot that's how that's how they kind of offer mostly like the uh the uh resellers. They'll be like if you're trying to sell something, be like I'll give you payout. That's what they normally offer most of the time. Um, StockX is basically the market. I mean, without StockX, I don't know where it would be. <laughs> Bro, this shoe makes no sense. Why is it just uh, expensive? Yeah. I mean, it's because it's hype. And it was only, you know, it was only available at, um, um, only available on uh, at Orlando. So that's the reason why it's up there in the resale market. I find it funny that they uh, use StockX as a reference, but they uh, be shitting on the app for selling fakes and wouldn't be an app to buy a sneaker. I, that's what I'm saying, bro, right? Is that we people could sit here and and, and say, oh, StockX is trash, da, 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 this, but they'll still use StockX as a reference. That dude from uh, Top Shelf Kicks that be going to conventions always checks on StockX for prices. Bro, there was a shop. I wish I could bring up the story. Shout out to my girl Kim from San Francisco. There was a shop in San Fran that really effed her over uh, for a pair of Bread Elevens. Um, I know this sounds. I know this sounds. Uh, golly, man! I wish I could. Dude, I wish I could show you guys the video because she explained it. And I thought it was important because that's why I want people to be careful and buying stuff from whatnot uh, on like reseller platforms, mostly Instagram pages that you guys don't know. Like there was a shop in San Francisco um, that one of my homies, Kim, she ba I think it was a scam low key. I would say it was a scam. You guys tell me. I'll tell you the story and you guys let me know whether if it was a scam or not. Okay. I'll t tell me if this was a scam or not. So there was a reseller store in San Francisco. I I'm trying to search it up, but I forgot what the store was called. I might have to hit her up so I can tell you guys the full story um, and show you guys the video that she had sh she, she had shown. So there's a resale shop in San Francisco. She lives in San Francisco, her and her boyfriend, right? And she had bought some bread 11s on whatnot because... Uh, you know, the shop in San Francisco was doing a whatnot, you know, show, um, uh, and selling shoes. So she got these bread 11s for a really, really good deal. Right. And he was showing it all. Oh, he was like saying like brand, almost brand new, only worn a couple times. And he's showing the left shoe, right? He's showing the left shoe on the screen. It looks really, really good. And once she got it in, she was like saying, man, I got scammed. It's kind of messed up because, they said it was like it was like barely worn da, 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 this she's showing the left shoe right looks good until she shows the right shoe the right shoe the freaking sole you know how like on the Jordan 11s you know how like the sole could kind of come off um just because of the age um and whatnot so the toe box of the of the sole was it was it was it came off 
it like it was wobbling and like the uh, the sole on the bottom of the shoe was coming off and there was like a huge scuff on the patent leather on the freaking shoe like it looked like it got like scratched up it got scratched up like crazy like someone hit it on like against like a, a rock or something and it got scuffed up and she got it for a really good price but the thing is he was explaining like oh like yeah separation thank you jay so she was getting separation on the on the right shoe but on whatnot video that she was showing that he was only showing the left shoe saying oh these were only worn a couple times da 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 this and like man when she had showed that video i was like dude that sucks man that sucks and she tagged them and everything i'm not sure if she ever got a response from them bro but i think that was like a scam that shit was a scam that shit was a scam man i was like i was like dude i was actually intrigued of that um situation on the uh street curve for sure 100 percent. if someone offers you stock x payout tell them you ain't stock x i usually say and walk away she can report that the app should protect her yeah i don't know if there was any um you know anything any consequences after that whether if she uh actually um updated um an update like, i might have to reach out to her i'm on i'm gonna reach out to her today i want to share that tomorrow and i want to get your guys thoughts and opinions um and i think it's it's a good way in, in the good way to really um let people know to be careful you know what i mean because you never know bro people are are desperate right now some people are desperate right now trying to sell sneakers because the market is so down right now so whatnot is a really good way to really sell some shoes that can't sell in your store um and try to get quick cash but I might have to reach out to her for those videos um, and show her what was kind of, you know, showing you guys what, what had gone, what went down. Um, because I think it's a really, really interesting um, um, situation. And I feel like we should, I, I feel like we should put some shine onto it because that's kind of messed up. It's funny how some people get mad when you ask for more pictures of a shoe. It's, it's funny how some people get mad when you ask for oh when you like oh you saying like oh like hey man can i get more pictures why I give you enough pictures yeah i feel you dude like if you're buying something and if you want more pictures like of course like i don't know why anyone would even get mad why would anyone get mad if you're asking more pictures if you're the one wanting to buy the shoe if someone says oh no that's all the pictures that i got and if they're not willing to give you more pictures that's already a red flag right there <laughs> I feel like that's a red flag. Do you see the vid of that kid getting us a, a scam for four thousand dollars in shoe in shoes yesterday? I did not see that mo kicks. I did not see what happened to me a couple times uh, on whatnot. Contact support and they will give you uh, your money back. Yeah, I might have to reach out to see um, to see what happened and whether if she got her money back or you know if they resolved the situation because that is really really messed up that they did that to her. Um. I have the biggest a scammer on whatnot and on uh, conventions. Devon, who's Devon? Who is that? I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that name. I I've never heard of that name. Um, I feel like the only person that I know right now from like, you know, doing the mystery scamming was the uh, what, what was his name? The dude from Vegas. I forgot his name. Um. He was doing like the three hundred dollar mystery box, and then he, uh, what, what's called sneaker con, banned them, banned him. It's crazy because like sneaker con allowed him to be there until he, it, like, people were putting shining more light into it. That that situation was crazy. Devin has has he is that his name? What not streamer? Oh, he's a what not streamer. One is full of uh, outlet kids shoes, uh, wax size, and a factory second clothes. I've never heard of him. In fact, some people waste your uh, time even uh, after providing extra pictures. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people. Oh, Chase Briner, that's his name. Chase Briner, he's still doing those mystery boxes. From from this day, he's still doing those mystery boxes. Sneaker Con is whack as hell. I heard well, some people that are from Denver that went to Sneaker Con Denver over the weekend and Easter weekend. I heard that was a really bad turnout. I heard like I heard no one was really there. Uh, some resellers that I know that's from Denver that went to that uh, to that show. I heard it was pretty bad. 
Uh, yeah, the guy said it's a, it's a gamble. And then sneaker con showed contracts saying gambling is not allowed. Exactly. But the thing is legit and re re replicated is that they let it happen for, for a long time until it finally got, you know, until the social media shine light to it. And then they realized it that they had to ban them. Urban necessities in Vegas. Another one media says what? Jay's looks like a huge pile of sloppy poop with a corn on it. Oh gosh. Um, imagine opening a mystery box and getting a Jordan mid. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. I still think those things are like mind blowing that people are. The thing is like, it's like, it's like people that are not from there. That's why you guys got to realize that like the people that are buying those mystery boxes are probably people that are not from there. What's his name? Chase Briner. It's literally people that's not from there. Frosty. Frosty, what up for the 22 month re up? Frosty, where you been? Chumba boy Frosty for the 22 month re up. Frosty, I miss you, dude. Frosty, we need to catch up, Frosty. Where you been, Frost? Shout out my boy Frosty in the building. Like, dude, look at this. Hey, where y'all from? Uh, Bishop Pelton, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, Reed Pelton, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh, yeah. What y'all hoping for? Uh, April's. April's. Some April's. Okay. We'll see what oh, y'all get. The way he said he was like, you want April's? Yeah, I. Right. That's so, like, dude, this is so bad, dude. Pelton, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, Reed Pelton, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh yeah, what y'all hoping for? Uh, Aprils. Aprils. Some Aprils. 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 Knowing that there's no Aprils in there. The way he said it, dude. Okay. You just know we'll these kids are just not getting shit, dude. SB dunks. Some dunks. Oh, SB. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Shoot. Oh. It's a. Oh my gosh. These are barely going for 200 bucks. It's a winner. That's a winner. Let's see what you get, bro. Big dog, open it. From the bottom. Right? Jay's. Jay's. So we got Jay's? the wallet. Uh, okay. Oh. Those are the same as you walk. Same as walk. Midnight Ooh. Navy. Oh. Two pounds got Midnight yeah. Navies. One got the SB Dunks, you know. Yeah. And that's on top. He's pissed. Kid on the right is pissed. Kid on the kid on the right's pissed. Happy, dude. Yeah. The kid on the right is pissed, dude. Look at his. Look at him. Look at him. Hey, so Jay? He didn't say All nothing. Right. Okay. Oh. Those are the same as you walk. Same as walk. Midnight Navy. Oh. Look at that, look, Just look at his face. Got look, he's all got flexing. He's like, he got Midnight Navy players. There is, and I got that's me. We on top. That's <laughs> be dunks, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's on top. Look, look, he's pissed, dude. He's pissed. He's so mad, dude. <laughs> Look, he's so bad. Yo, he's so mad, dude. He's so fucking mad. He's so mad, dude. He's mad, bro. Look, he's looking dead ass in his SBs. Man. <laughs> he's so mad, dude. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, my name's Walker Pelton. I'm from Michigan. Michigan? Hell yeah. What you looking for? They're all from Michigan. Anything, honestly. Yeah. Oh man, boy got finesse. Oh, they got the uh, you got the same shoe. Oh, not the kids. What's your name and where are you from? Okay, let's see what you got in your mystery box. Can anyone guess what this is? Anyone, everyone guess what the shoe is right now. What is it? Oh, that looks cool. That's the same shoe. Yeah. But it's probably GS. You like them? Yeah. And then you got two more things in there, too. How much are these going for? A Supreme candy necklace and a little keychain. Thank you. Three. I got to see. At three hundred dollars, I wouldn't be surprised if they bumped up the price. What are those? Midnight Navy.
We lost. They just lost a hundred bucks. First mystery box of the night. What's your name? Where are you from? Vincent. Vincent from where? Canada. Canada. So what is the oh, Canadian? Nine and a half. All right, let's see. Uh, what are those? Sticker, the little rebellion airs? Little air freshener. You know what that is? Oh, you said a Jordan. Damn, Jordan oh. 3. What are they? Fearless? Fearless 3s? Fear pack. Fear pack. Yes, sir. You happy? Yeah? I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, dude, it don't matter. Listen, listen, I'm going to say this now. The kid's probably shy. Hey, what's your name and where you from, bro? Um, the kid's probably shy. Name, where you from? I'm not going to hold y'all. When I was a kid, dude, I was Feel going back. bananas if I got shoes from my parents, dude. I was, listen, I was going bananas. I was like, oh my God, I'm getting a new pair of Jordans, dude. A new pair of Jordans. I used to be so excited, bro. I was like, I feel like a kid in a candy shop. When I was getting, when I was getting new shoes, it don't matter what it was, dude. Like I was a kid at a candy shop, getting new pair of kicks, wearing it in the house, looking in the mirror like 20, 30 times. Beer pack. What's your name and where are you from, bro? I'm Dylan and I'm from Oakland, California. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Beer threes, yeah. What up, King James? A magical box. Welcome to you guys. I have no idea what this box is. Whoa, these are sick. Wait, what's your name? Where are you from, bro? I'm Dylan, and I'm from Oakland, California. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Oh, you got the Mac attacks. Man, I don't get how the game is played. Isn't it a person putting in the... So the thing is, so how the game is played is that like, they tell you the odds. Like you have an, you have an opportunity. You have an opportunity of, of, of hitting on like an SB orange lobster or some shit. Like, I think that is the, I don't know what the odds are. The odds are stupid low, but they, they'll tell you, be like, oh, you have a chance to win a, a pair of this. You have a chance to win a pair of that. You know, Travis Scott, Jordan, one lows. Dude, you have a chance, bro. You have like all these boxes behind us and you get a chance to hit on a Jordan one low, a fragment Jordan one low. And people in people's heads like, oh man, I have a chance, dude. All right, fuck it. And plus when you're in Vegas, people like to gamble. Listen. People like to gamble off their, uh, with their money. They like to gamble. They'd be like, all right, F it. I'll gamble 300 bucks. And people are willing to spend that. Dude, you'd be surprised, dude. It's sad to see, but you'd be surprised how many people are willing to pay the price. Uh, probably one in uh, 1,000. Yeah, probably. I'm just surprised they haven't had one knowledgeable. Uh, dude, there, the thing is, Sean, excuse me, Chase Briner came out and said, we were like, everyone keeps showing all the bad stuff. People don't show whenever people actually hit because nobody fucking hits Chase Briner. Nobody fucking hits. That's the reason why you don't see. That's why you see all these bad videos and people, like, people don't show the good stuff because there's nothing to show that's good. <laughs> like, what is there to show that's good? Like, he came out and said that. He was like, oh, people want to say this and say that. And they don't show all the good hits. Dude, there's nothing good. All these videos that we've seen so far, none of them are good hits. Like, all respectfully. Right, box number 13. Like, the thing is, he'll show. I mean, that's how advertisement works. He'll Size open a 11, box. You like, you like, he'll watch. Guy. He'll open a box, and I promise you there's something good in there. The second box of the night on our holiday stream. 
Hopefully something bigger, something better. His first shoe was a Jordan 1 Lucky Green and some accessories. Unless, unless someone bought this on their whatnot thing. All right. Patriots. Just Dom. He's probably on like whatnot or something. You got a curious That's what it looks like. Bear Brick Air Freshener. You've got a red. Oh, yeah. He's telling sticker. the person that won that. And uh, this one is a Nike Jordan box. Definitely different than your first box. Size 11, Jordan 12, Cherry. How much are Cherry for, how much are Cherry, how, many, how much are Cherry's going for? Cherry 12s, last sale was 198. So they lost 80 bucks. There's a red box number. He six, looks like he's on like 11. whatnot. It's crazy how much money they're making. Hey man, make your make your money, but it's just like the, the it's the principle of it all, man. It shit sucks. What are you hoping for? Travis Scott. Travis Scott. <laughs> okay, let's see. You what are you hoping for, Travis Scott? Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan three or four maybe. What do you say he was hoping for? That's Ooh. crazy. Okay. Hey man, what are you hoping for? Oh man, it's Travis Scott's. <laughs> that is crazy, man. Man really thought he looked. Look, no red three. Look at his face, dude. Like look, at his, look at him. Okay. Cardinal red three. Look! Look at the way he looked at them. Oh, he gave them the death stare. He gave them the oh man. Oh. He's are you fucking okay. serious? Cardinal Red Three. Look, look the way he looked at them. Oh man. Man, that sucks, dude. That sucks. I'm hoping for a refund. I got a trade offer uh, for my Cherry Elevens. He's pissed, dude. Okay. Cardinal Red. Look at him. Look at his eyes. That says it all. He, it's, it's the look of defeat. <laughs> oh man, that's rough. That's rough, dude. I'm sorry. He was hoping some Travis Scott, but he got some like Jordan threes. What are these, the Cardinals or something? They're nice. Listen, it's nice. It's, we're not saying all these are bad shoes. Listen, we're not saying any of these are bad shoes because they're not. We're not saying that. We're not saying any of these are bad shoes. It's just a principle. But at the end of the day, those people that are buying these boxes, like it, that's 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 on them. It, you you buy at you pay you buy at your own risk. You buy at your own risk. It's all a gamble. It hundred percent is. It 100% is. It's 100% a gamble. When you're in Vegas, people people are there to spend money, man. When you're in Vegas, people got the money to spend on, on casinos, on gambling, and people will gamble on shoes. If you think people will gamble on, like, casino machines, people will gamble on sneakers. Yeah, they are nice, but not for the price. Yeah, you get what you paid for, exactly. Well, not really. <laughs> Uh, is 40 pairs in a year uh, OD not worth it Angel says played stupid games you win stupid prize <laughs> that's such an old saying I love it you play stupid games you win stupid prizes <laughs> oh man this is worse than gambling Um, I, listen I don't know gambling could be pretty bad and mostly going to the casinos, like going to the casinos and gambling is pretty bad because you could literally like lose like $400 in like 10 seconds. I mean, that's the same thing with this. He's like losing a hundred bucks and like a couple seconds. You know, that's the same thing with the casino. You could literally show up with a hundred bucks in your hand. Once you walk in, put it in the machine, press the couple, you know, press the button maybe like five times and boom, you just lost a hundred bucks.
I don't think this is I don't even think this is worse than 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 gambling at the casino. I think the gambling at the casino is worse. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you're all, you're kind of, you're, I feel like your odds may be um, higher at the casino though. Your odds on here is really, really low. I would say that your odds on winning at the casino is higher than winning on this. So maybe, yeah. Okay. I give you that. Um, and some of them are trying to stay uh, safe from all these uh, tornadoes going out right now. Crazy storm. Really? Well, hopefully you guys stay safe out there in the Midwest, man. That sucks. I would hate to go through a tornado like that, man. You could or uh, hear me out. You could win big and walk out with it. Um, with uh, every more money you can, uh, even more money you came in. Yeah. Red or black? I always do black, man. Well, it depends on my mood. A hundred dollars on black. Next time I go to the casino chat, I'm doing a hundred on black. A hundred on black. Next time I go, I haven't been to the casino in like a year, maybe a year and a half. I think it's been a, it's been a while since I've gone to the casino. But if I do go to the next, uh, if I go to the casino again, chat, I'll do a hundred on black. And I'll make sure I film it. See if I win or lose. I'll take my chances at the casino. Yeah. Always bet on black. There's 398 people in the air and only 200 likes. Make sure you guys run it up. Sneaker Cop says, smash that like button real quick for your boy. Smash that like button. I really do appreciate y'all for real. Hey, Raph, do you know if Adidas will put the slides back on the confirmed app? Uh, Kai, probably not. Um, probably until the next easy day. Uh, man, you could hit out the casino and still... You know what's crazy to me? It's like... <laughs> that people will go on like the machines and like oh my god i want a jackpot but like imagine how many how much money they spend in putting in the machines got to subtract that i put 100 bucks on black nine walked away with two thousand dollars and lost it at the uh strip club two says nice uh at the casino you'll lose 300 dollars in 10 seconds and walk out with nothing at least here you walk away with something hey you know what you're not wrong at least you're walking out with something I remember one year that I went to the casino with the wifey. I went to the casino with the wifey, right? I went to the casino with the wifey. And we were there for like five minutes. I think that was like the fastest I've been in, in the casino in my entire life, being there for five minutes. I took out like 300 bucks. She got like 100 bucks. I used the rest. And I went max. I, I went for the max win. I went for the max win and I lost it all in like 10 seconds, dude. My girl was like, you, you, you lost all that. I was like, yeah. She's like, what the hell did you play? That's why I only play tables, dude. I'm done with machines. I don't like, I don't play, I don't like playing machines. I like to go to the tables, but the tables, you have to, you actually socialize and also like you, your money lasts a little bit longer. Um, I like betting on the numbers and stuff like that because it's always fun. Um, but no, I, I rarely go to the casino. Dude, I blew like 300 bucks in like 10 seconds, dude. Shit was bad. Because I don't go to the casino, dude. I'm not smart with it. Uh, Sneaker Cop 606 for the two says there's 398 people in here and only 200 likes. Make sure you guys run it up real quick. Smash. That like button. Shout out my boy Sneaker Cop once again for the $2 donation. Make sure I just run it up real quick. Smash that like button, man. I went to a Raiders game and took $200 before the game and put in the slot. Ended up leaving with $3,000 after all that said and done. I think the most that I've won on the casino was like six on a bucks, I think. But I ended up losing it most of most of it. Like that was the only time. Like I was I was betting on black, red, roulette. I love roulette. I always bank on roulette, always. Yo, who wants to yo, who wants to go to the casino with me and play some roulette, dude? I'll play some roulette. Anybody want to play some roulette? I'll be down to play some roulette, dude. That is the place that I like to hang out with. I could I could be there for a for a while if I end up winning. But it is fun. Even if you're betting low. Like, it's always fun, dude. It's always chilling. You're, you know, you actually, you make the best of it. When you're sitting, for me, when you're sitting at a machine for like all day, I get bored. But roulette's actually a little bit more fun. 
There's 378 PPL in here and only 200 likes. Dalawang lights. Shout out my boy Sneaker Cop 606. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, man. I appreciate that. I'm down. Roulette is uh, 0 to 100. Always my choice. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go, man. Let's go. I'm down. Dude, it sucks because, like, Washington State, you can't bet on sports. Like, on the apps. Like, you have to go to the casino. Man just wants to see his ex-co-workers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ben C, you're a funny motherfucker, dude. I love Ben, dude. <laughs> Man just wants to go to see his ex coworkers. You work at the casino, so you have to uh, you have the advantage. That's the only place my lady and I go out. No clubs, no bars, nothing like that. Just the casino. That's where my mom and dad goes, dude. Drex, I promise you, bro. Like my you listen. My parents love going to the casino. I bet you when my parents come back home in May, that's where they're going to go first. They're going to hit the casino. Serious speaking, Filipino is crazy. We're going to stick to the culture. My friends walked into the casino and hit 600 bucks within the first minutes. At the end of the night, lost all $500 and 300 more. Jeez. That's what some people do. It's like when they lose a bunch of money, they they go back they go back to the uh they go back to the uh the ATM take out $300 more hoping to win 200 back to win their money back but it's never the case you have to go in there like to the casino just like just having fun man if you if you go into the casino thinking that you're going to win that intuition doesn't really work uh parents on the diamond vip do my parents are diamond vip player cards too they're like platinum they get like free rooms like free hotel free rooms every time they go all the time because my mom is at the casino all the time uh i really don't mess with the casino you don't end up uh taking out a more uh a mortgage on your house yeah i mean listen listen Money is whatever, dude. As long as you're having fun. That's cash in the wind. There you go. It's fun, dude. The casino is fun. The casino is fun. As long as you make it fun. Take a band into my ID and that's it. That's how you get uh, that's how they get you. Yeah. The grandparents and the diamonds are at the uh Barona Casino. Wow, Barona. Dude, that's where my parents don't like going State Farm Jake because they don't they always lose. Go in with a budget and stop when you lose it all. That's not how it works with the casino sometimes, JS Mom. You'd be surprised how many people how people like keep going to the ATMs and keep, keep taking money out and spend it. Damn, my mom always win every time when we go to the casino. You know, it's a hit and miss. It's either I win or the wife hits. We don't ever win at the same time. It's either her or me. My uh, cousin is uh, seven stars, the like Caesars. He hooks it up with the suits, Raiders tickets, dinners. I love going out to the Vegas with him. Ah, uh, have I ever gambled at Vegas before? Maybe like maybe once, maybe once, maybe once. I'm gonna build a casino and scam. Oh gosh, I don't know the casinos where you guys are at. The ones I go have the restaurants, they have a lot of fun things to do besides gambling. There's a ball in there. The the casinos out here, there's a ton out here in Washington because they're all like uh they all ran with the um with the uh what's it called? A tribe. Uh from an uh yeah, they're all ran from a tribe. And the casinos out here are actually really, really popular out here in Seattle. There's a couple of popular ones out here. It's about that time again, Raf. At the uh, at the moment the casino is a scam. You got the ATM at the casino that is a scam. Well, you, the, yeah, because you end up paying the fees, the extra fees that you like. Oh, you want to spend like four hundred dollars on the fees? Natives, yeah, the natives. There's a lot of natives reservations out, out here. Mostly out here in Washington, there's a lot of them, man. Got to learn how to count cards and have special tools to win at the casino. Yeah, uh, Connecticut is tribes also. Yeah, reserve land. Yeah, there's a ton out here. Mostly during Fourth of July, man. Fourth of July, bro, like the the Native American tribes, dude, they be selling like some deals on fireworks. You're out Fourth of July, man. My dad's going crazy. I know my dad's going crazy on Fourth of July because he's going to be in town. Um, Yeah, here is a is a tribe. Also, uh, Foxwoods Casino and uh, Mo, uh, Mo, uh, Mogan, Mogan, 
Uh, son, okay. Is hit here. Okay, hit there. Okay. I saw my friend and lost four grand in 30 seconds at the casino. Let's just say he didn't have four grand to lose necessarily. Uh, you win some and lose more. The house always wins at the end of the day. Facts. I mean, not always. Not always. Muckle shoot. Do it on the, on the fourth. Muckle shoot casino. Muckle shoot or teal. The one that's popular out here near my area is the uh, the Clearwater Casino. Clearwater Casino is pretty uh, pretty popular. That's where my parents love to go all the time. Clearwater. But Muckle Shoot or Teolip, yeah. Teolip, or if that's how you say it. So, um, um, Mohagen. Is that how you say Mohagen? Uh, Fox was definitely uh, goaded cushy. Not too sure about Emerald's Queens. Emerald Queen Casino, that's pretty popular too. It's always in the commercials too. It's always in the commercials, but yeah, the com dude, I want to, I want to go back to the casino. Now that we're talking about it, dude, casino sounds really, really fun right now. I'm not going to hold y'all. Casino sounds really, really fun. I'm not going to hold y'all for real, for real Corvette, Corvette, but guys, we're going to end the stream here. All right. It's almost roughly around 11 Eastern time. We've been streaming for roughly about three, almost three hours. Um, we don't really do our two and a half, three hour streams. Uh, I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me as always. Uh, we might stream later this afternoon. Um, try to do the afternoon streams to build up the algorithm here on the channel. But I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me as always. Um, Mohegan, my bad, Mohegan, my bad. But you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, happy Tuesday. Tomorrow we'll have an exclusive access for the Jordan 4s. Um, I'm hoping something pops up this week for uh, for Nike. But I guess we're going to have to wait and see. All right. But other than that, man, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. You guys enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Um, smash that like button on the way out if you guys don't mind, man. Smash that like button. Uh, thank you guys so much for tapping in as always. Let's get to 250 likes. Um, and then we'll catch you guys back tomorrow. All right. Uh, how much will you uh, put on Rafi shooting a free throw? Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah. EA for uh, the Jordan 4 Vivid Soul First tomorrow. Uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. 6 a.m. PST. All right. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. Catch you guys in the next one, man. Have a good day. Peace.